right. Happy Easter to everyone Happy out Easter. there. Happy Easter. Hello to everyone. How are you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful spring day with the fam and uh, just enjoying some time off. If you had the weekend off, well, then good for you and happy, yes. lovely Easter to everybody that celebrates. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Coleman Collective on Sunday night. Sunday. <laughs> what are we doing, oh, yeah. tonight, honey? What are we doing tonight? Well, we're going to chat for a little bit. We're going to, uh, we're definitely going to talk to Bucky in a minute here. Um, um, and we have a really fun little sale. So, yeah. I, I, I have had the best pizza ever. Yeah, you have. <laughs> yes, I've been eating chocolate all day, and my belly is so full. See it? Oh my god, it's so furry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Really sure you your teeth tonight. My teeth are crooked. They're, they're crooked, and they're about to fall out because I've had so much Easter candy. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody! It's my favorite day of the year. Yeah, it is. Did you have ham? I ate ham and egg and asparagus. And our gratin potatoes. Ah, nice. Very nice. Mix it all together. Yeah. Hey, and Bucky. My, cousin, and my cousin's here, David. Your cousin is? Yes. Who's your cousin? His name's Stanley. Stanley. All right. Well, it, like, is he, where is he? Okay, hold on. Okay, where's Stanley? Oh, please. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Hi. Stanley. I'm Stanley, I'm Bucky's cousin, and I'm here to pump you up. <laughs> so Uncle Stan has been smoking the pipe, huh? Yes, I am Stanley the Easter Bunny with the pipe, and I wear a beret, and I don't want you to ask me about it, okay? Okay, no, not going to ask you. All right, cool. So you're a little French? Um, yes. yes. Un poco? Oui, oui. Okay. Oui, oui. <laughs> Have you ever seen um have you ever seen a white bunny fur like this? That's disgusting, David. Put that down. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, so what? Did you skin the Easter bunny? I skin an Easter bunny, yes. No, no. Tisk tisk. That is not okay, buddy. I'm here visiting uh that's a blue chicken. Yeah, he's blue chicken. He's going to tell us when the bids are done. Bid end. Bid end. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome. 64 people. Yeah, watching that hot mess. Hot mess. So Hi, guys. How are you? Did you have, has everyone had their mandatory ham or snacks or relish tray or deviled eggs today? Have you okay. had them? We have. We have. Yes. <laughs> yes, we have. Not the deviled eggs, though. But I know Lisa had, did quite the uh, deviled egg spread. <laughs> Poor Lisa. Lisa, I'm about to talk about you. So, you guys, Lisa texted me early this morning. This day sucks. Everyone's puking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no. So she had made this huge spread for everybody. And they had dyed eggs yesterday and had all this fun. And then everybody ended up ralphing today. So, <laughs> so Lisa, I'm sorry. I know you made that gorgeous cake and made all that ham. But you know what? Everybody will eat the leftovers. So <laughs> let's say hi to everybody in the chat. And for those of you that um, just got here, we're just going to shoot the breeze for a little bit. And then we'll probably go into our sale around 6.30, 6.45, something like that. Um, oh, that sounds lovely, Wordsmith. Heck yeah. Easter colors indeed. Very and nice. that delightful Coleman Joy amongst friends. Oh, thanks so much, Wordsmith. Thank Evelyn, you guys are the best. Lisa, thank you so much for being here, lady. And thank you for always welcoming everyone to our sale and being the most excellent bid ender that has puking family. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi, Karen Chase, our friend. Good to see you. And there's Terry in the chat. We've got our girl, Amy Wildflower. Hello. Good to see all you guys. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Happy Easter. In Indeed. So great to see you. Thank you for being here. There's Miss Kelly Abbott in the house. Hello. How was your day? How's your weekend been? Ours has been really relaxing. Um, pretty chill. We let the dogs do their snuffle mat for Easter today so they could have um, 
special treats and everybody got a little bacon, everybody got a little ham. So they've had a very nice Easter indeed. Yeah, Dusty Bruce, Michelle, how are you, girly? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Hi, Phil. How are you? Happy Easter indeed. Belgian Heidi, Belgian hippie Heidi. Heidi Hippie? Hippie Heidi. Heidi ho. Heidi ho. Hi ho, Silver. Okay. Gail Dad, good to see you. Hello. Welcome in. I'm scrolling down to see all who's here. Trina's in the house. Hey, hey Trina. Trina and Wayne. I hope you guys have had a nice day. Hello, hello. Hey, Bug. Good to see you. There's my Stephanie. Hi, Steph. It's so good to see you in the chat, baby. I missed you. How are you? I know. We miss you too, honey. Miss you so much. Love you, Stephanie. Oh, there's Janet. Hello. Happy Easter to you, Janet. Oh, Wildflower, you are so secret. Literally, this is, um, I had a moo moo on most of the day. And then I threw on my little Easter dress and uh, blue dry my hair. So that's that's my I look. Love well, you know, I love that yellow. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to chase you around the hand of the room with uh, my wiener fingers. Mm, that's ah. terrible, baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say that's, that she does it for me, but that's that's kind of what the ham tasted like, like hot. Those dogs. wiener fingers are like terrifying. <laughs> they are still, just a little bit. Little wind, welcome. Hi, Susan and Tim. Hello, happy Thank Easter you. to the chat. Happy Easter to all our friends. It is wonderful to see everybody in the house. There's bus and move. Good. How are you doing? That's right, Jello for Jesus. That was. One of the uh, reels that I posted yesterday, one of the uh, influencers I follow on Instagram, I Spy, I think it's I Spy Antiques or I Spy Vintage, one of those, um, did this hysterical jello mold with a lamb. And it was the biggest mess you've ever seen. And they yeah. made it with tuna fish. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it took me back to the early 80s. Yeah. Oh, totally. all jello molds and the copper molds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Parzival. Hey. Good. You cheers, cheers for seeing me. Love it. Love, love, love it. There's our, our Vuvu friend. Hey, How's it going in Florida? Hello. Oh, V's here. V, I know you have Great. been, uh, Stephen and chat. Yes, I know you have been in the house for a while. Thank you so much for saying hello. Great to see you, Gloria. Howdy from Indiana. And there's our friend Brian. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Parzival is on one. Watch out. I don't even know what to make of that. <laughs> <Very interesting. laughs> All right. Very interesting indeed. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh my gosh. I know. Have you had, how many people had ham today? Just curious. Oh, Trina, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. That's like the nicest thing to say. She Literally by my hair. And compliments make me uncomfortable. So we're scrolling on. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Good to see you. Great to see you. Hey, There's hey, Brad. Bro. Hello, love. Good to see you in the house. Hoppy, hoppy. Yes, hot dog hands. Indeed. <laughs> Les, good to see you here. Happy, Happy Easter to you, my dear. And Lisa says, wiener fingers, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, no. Please, it's your day, sister. It's your day. Oh, my God. Too funny. All right. Scrolling down. Body mushroom. Amy, hi. Good to see you, sweetie. Thank you for being here, along with Prairie Stone Collectibles and Curiosities. So curious. All right. Scrolling down, we got Grandma in the house. Great to see you, Grandma. And we've got Shirley B. Hello. Oh, no. Well, I am so glad that you made it here with us. So this is Easter, and we were decided just to do a little mini chat. And then um, <clears throat> we were going to go ahead and, and go into a sale. And we thought we'd have a small sale, but we ended up with a bunch of stuff. So we yeah. do actually have a sizable little sale tonight that we didn't yeah. even plan. So we thought we'd chat for a bit. What are you guys wanting to talk about? Do you have any questions about vintage? How is your day? Do you believe in the Easter Bunny? Um, did you color eggs? These are all questions I have for you. These are all questions. Okay, I will tell you a funny story. Um, oh my God, Wordsmith said it. her ham, Evelyn's ham and lima beans did not cooperate. The limas would not soften up and the ham pulled a knife on her. <laughs> oh yeah. 
I'm going to tell you about our ham. So, <laughs> you know, we aren't super traditional, but we always are like, you know, we, it's a, it, you know, we had a show today, so it was easy to throw a ham in the little Dutch oven in the oven and call it a day. So we did a, um, oh, David, what are they called? Pickups, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. at our local, King, you know, King Supers, Kroger. Our, our Kroger grocery store. So we do a pickup and we did it for all of our food for today and the rest of the week. And we ordered, of course, a ham. And the ham that we ordered did not come. We got a substitution ham. Yeah. And the substitution ham had a bizarre consistency of cooked hot dogs. Okay. Like yeah, in ham water, no flavor, and it wasn't cut, you know, like the kind you used to get like after church on Sunday back in the day. Well, David calls it like Nana's ham or, or Gam Gam ham, Grandma's Gam -gam. ham. Yeah, because yeah. Um, it's not sliced thin, it's like thick and kind of has that mushy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we ate about two bites of our ham and then we picked out on the rest of the sides because they were actually good. We had rolls and all that. Um, but the ham. Probably will never make that particular ham ever, ever again. And nor would I have ever picked that ham out on my own. It mm -hmm. was a substitution ham. Right. So. <laughs> almost <laughs> like can ham, Kelly. Yeah, almost. It wasn't hammed, but it, you know, Kelly, it might as well have been. It was one of those. And so, you know, I cooked it with pineapple and tried to doctor it up a bit. It was the most flavorless damn ham I've ever had. <laughs> it's so bad. Our hands suck today. <laughs> We can't talk about the ham anymore. It's kind of making me nauseous. <laughs> it's gonna stop. It's like twenty feet away from the fridge. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we are wordsmith. That's what I said. And it's one of those where it's so flavorless, it has to be low sodium because there's no salt in this ham. And I'm like, you know, we will just go ahead and feed part of this ham to the dogs the rest of the week. Um, so they're gonna have a really good week. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have. A wonderful week. Yeah. It was not a good spiral cut Hormel ham. It was not. It was a barfastic, weird, shrunken looking hot dog wiener ham. I don't, I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's just a <laughs> solid block of meat and a bunch of juicy water that just. Ugh. Yeah. It was almost like a processed kind of spam type ham. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So we're right. not going to talk about that anymore. We're we're hammed out, um, but we do have some nice leftovers for an au gratin, au gratin titers. Yeah, we so, just cube those those ham pieces up, cube it, <laughs> put it on top of the potatoes. <sighs> oh god, oh. aspic! Oh my gosh, yes. So that was the video that I posted on Instagram to my stories yesterday. It was a funny. It was a funny tuna fish aspect. And so, um, yeah, but I know a lot of people love it. I grew up on it, you know. Um, yeah, jello salad for everybody with shaved carrots in it and weirdness. Weirdness that you don't want in your jello salad. Yeah. Yeah. Anything you have to shave, you shouldn't eat. <laughs> you know? Yes, true. So it could have been Mary, it might have been lab grown. Yeah, it was not, it was not a real ham. It was a it was a 3D printer. <laughs> just add water and just like. So, you know, big tip from us don't ever do grocery store pickup on Easter weekend because you will get no. a weird ham that you did not bargain for. <laughs> nope. And you can't say no. It's just like that um, Christmas movie, uh, Christmas with the Cranks. You have to get a ham. Well, yeah. A couple yeah. Left, so. I love I love a good ham, but this wasn't it. Yes. No, nope, I did not find one. <laughs> Although their name brand sold out recently. China, watch what you buy for sure. Yeah, I think we got one of those bootleg hams for sure, Laurel. <laughs> <laughs> it was a chicken just like this, just trying to hide in there. Oh yeah. gosh. Oh my gosh. There was a feather in there. Too funny. Happy Easter, everybody that's coming in. Yes. Yeah, it's wonderful to see all you guys. Did you have a Cadbury egg today? I am actually, um, I've been sugar-free since January, and it blows. I'm not going to lie. But 
at the same time, I feel pretty good. So I have not had a Cadbury egg, but dang it, I would love one. Same. The hot cross buns. No, I haven't had any of those either, yeah. but that sounds delightful. My mom always used to make those with the yummy homemade icing. Oh my God. Yeah. And raisins in them and stuff. Oh, yes. Our ham is from Timu, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Timu ham. <laughs> oh my god you guys are packing me up so what's up with everybody how are you again we are here for just a little mini chat we thought we'd visit for a little bit because it's easter and i like connecting with you guys i like visiting for a bit instead of you know constantly talking about vintage it's nice to just connect so hi dana good to see you happy easter indeed have you know, a Gail, i see she said i love stale peeps i will have to concur with you my parents always bought the easter stuff well all the holiday things the day after for the next year yeah um so the stale peeps i'm very very um Wait, so they would do year old peeps the next year yeah Dang, yeah, my dad would keep all that stuff in his uh, in his shop um, refrigerator, along with his tobacco products that he would keep in there so it wouldn't dry out in New Mexico. So by the time the holidays came around, you either had tobacco flavored peeps that were dry, or you had chocolate that tasted much like tobacco. <laughs> so Very flavored tobacco and chocolate. You know that probably isn't that half bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. If you have some bourbon with it, it's really good. There you go. <laughs> Definitely some kind of hard alcohol with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So Lisa said, that's a good question. Lisa said, are we doing another live shop along Wednesday? What do you guys think? Should we? Um, we we definitely can. I know Greta and I have talked. We still need to go through the miniature section at Super Junk. We still need to go through one whole side that has like 80s toys and stuff. We still have a whole side with jewelry. There's some more tiki. We have clothes. We haven't gone through the linens or the records or any of that. So yeah. <clears throat> my question to you is, should we do, do you guys want to do another shop along? Do you want to have a regular sale Wednesday? Do a pop-up Thursday night? What sounds yeah, good to you guys? And Lisa says yes. Lisa says yes. Um, okay, Bugs, you will definitely have to come and check out my friend Greta's shop. It's really cool. And she has worked so hard. And every time she sells something, she's so excited because that means she gets to go shopping again and restock the shop. So she has really loved having you guys come into the shop. And, um, you know, it's really, I think, rewarding for her to see her stuff fly off the shelves like shelves like you guys have been yeah. buying. So I think that's really cool. Yeah, the shop alongs are a lot of fun. Um, and of course, Wednesday night, um, we'll try, we'll try to do another one. Um, but of course, Wednesday nights are regular sale night. So we'll be here whether we're here or whether we're doing live shopping. Um, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah, me too, Susan Lynn. Isn't it great? I'm so glad to see all of you guys. Thank you so much. Over a hundred people in the house for Easter. That means so much. Thank you yeah. guys just for being here. This is so nice. Yes. Good to visit with everybody. Um, that store is great provided it doesn't hurt your business. No, it's not hurting us at all. In fact, um, <clears throat> we have a cut of sales. Greta and I have a very generous deal worked out and we make great money. She makes good money. So it benefits us too. It does. Yeah. It's just yeah. a whole bunch of fun. Yeah, it is. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. It is so great Thank to see guys. everyone. Thank you guys again for being here. And, and I, um, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I saw Mary Causey did have a comment in there. And um, yeah, prayers to you, Mary. We love you. You missed it. Hold on. I'm going it's, back. It's up here. It's, um, oh, hi, all. Need prayers for my best friend. Mary Hard battle. Oh, I'm really sorry. Yes, Mary, absolutely. I I can imagine that is a very um, hard, it can be a hard transition for sure. So absolutely, all the love and thank you to everybody in the chat who said such lovely things. Yeah, you guys are so you. sweet. I'm sorry I missed it. And Mary, we love you and thank you so much. I'm so glad your packages finally did get to you. Um, Mary had a bunch of stuff stuck in Atlanta. And yeah. apparently what we found out is they closed a postal facility in Atlanta somewhere. 
and without rerouting all the mail. So stuff sat in limbo in Atlanta for two to three weeks, not our doing. It was literally the USPS. So and there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah. If you are in the South or the East and you had a package that was weirdly delayed from us, that is why. If you look at the date that we print the labels, we try to pick, print and package everything in a very timely manner. But sometimes the post office drops the ball when they fail to plan, you know, and closes a facility and whatever. So. Oh, good. Phil got her big package. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. So glad. So glad. Yes. Big love to you, Mary, and um, and your bestie. I know that's really hard. So, yes, I know a lot of people um, <clears throat> are sick and dealing with a lot of stuff right now. Lisa's whole family is sick. So healthy, yeah. love, vibes, take your vitamins, drink your water, yeah. wear a mask if you need to, sanitize, all that, all that lame stuff. Oh, we yeah. My mom's been really taking care of my Aunt Carol just this past week, too. She had a blood pressure issue and had to go in emergency and all of that. She's better now, but yeah. She's, it, been, I mean, she's still in the hospital though. Yeah. So David's mom, we talked to her earlier today and um, yeah, she actually has spent most of the day with Aunt Carol in the hospital. Yeah. So yeah, it's, I know it's just a lot for a lot of people. I get it. And she is his Aunt Carol's caretaker because she is disabled. So his mom deals with a lot and is a caretaker on a daily basis and lots of appointments to get to and all kinds of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no packages were lost on the key bridge. So there's, right. that, Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, I saw yesterday they were pulling that bridge up out of the water. So um, hopefully they get that water passage soon. Cause I know they said that was a pretty major port as yeah. far as importing and exporting and stuff too. So yeah. <clears throat> pretty crazy. Oh, thanks, Susan. You're so sweet. Yes. Big love to everybody for all the love and prayers and good vibes. Yes. Lisa got her mating rabbits in the mail. Good. Those were oh, yes. some of our shakers. They were very naughty. <laughs> okay. Oh, Phil, you're welcome. We have so much fun finding little freebies for packages and things. And, um, yeah. We always try to include some little fun things in your packages. So. Oh, always. always. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Laza said, been listening, been sick all day eating. Yeah, a lot of people are sick right now. I know. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm glad you had baked potatoes at least. Hey, at least there's taters. Taters precious. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm sorry you're sick, though, Laza. That stinks. I know. That is a bummer. Laura, oh, my gosh. Yes, definitely keep mom healthy for sure. For That's sure. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Janet said hers is stuck somewhere. It's probably Atlanta, Janet. I don't know. <laughs> but... I wrote, down, I wrote you down just so I can, I'll take a look on pirate ship tonight just to see kind of what, what it says, but yes, but yeah, yeah usually with something having, having to do with like weather or something that has happened. Yes. You know. mm -hmm. But they always pop out. We haven't had any more snow this week. So that's nice. I appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, that's so sweet, Susan. That's so fun. We um, we definitely enjoy including little freebies and things for you guys. Yes, I agree. Baked potatoes and saltine crackers are the best for feeling better. Yes, I did have a happy Easter. And I was eating all the chocolate and I ate deviled eggs and I had ham and asparagus <laughs> and all gratin potatoes and it was delicious. And I think my teeth are going to fall out soon. Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Bucky is having the best day ever. It is his favorite day of Easter. Um, mm -hmm. He looks forward to this day all year long. So indeed, happy Easter, little Bucky, and to his weird cousin Stanley that's here. <laughs> so, right. Good old Stanley. Lisa says we should pull his teeth out. You know, they're Might crooked and backed up. We really should, Lisa. I agree. Yes. <laughs> Bucky did enjoy the ham that tasted like wieners. Yes. <laughs> We got dumped on last week. Almost all. Oh. I have the lawn mowing bug. Oh my gosh. David, do you remember when we lived in Missouri and we had a yard to mow? Oh yeah. Yeah. I do not miss that. And we shot weddings. So like usually Fridays and Saturdays, sometimes Saturdays and Sundays would be weddings. So then it would be like two days of weddings out in the humidity and then having to, to mow the grass. And we were like on this crazy hill. So the backyard went down the front yard went down and it just i mean i i mean i finally was like 
I'm going to have someone else mow this lawn because I'm going to fall down this hill and mow my face off, you know. <laughs> I don't miss those days, but we have to pull weeds. So it, there's always something you have to take care of. We need to, what we really need to do is re-landscape the backyard because our backyard is zero-scaped with mulch and rocks and stuff, which is nice. It's perfect for, you know, the environment here, but it's it's been 10 years since we have um, laid down plastic and we have all these little areas of grass that are trying to grow through the rock. And I'm like, oh, we really need to re-landscape the backyard mm -hmm. this year and, and do all the plastic, but it's just so time consuming. Yeah, need to mow again third time already. <laughs> that was uh, I remember those days. Mowing again in March, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hot and humid where Dusty is. Severe storms tomorrow. Oh. I don't miss that humidity oh. at all. Yeah, it is so dry here. So dry. <laughs> Amy had the yard guy. I wish we had a yard guy. I know. <laughs> There's my yard guy right there. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, and sometimes I'm like, you know, I'm I just don't feel like doing that today because I don't want to hurt the next day. I don't want my back to hurt, so I'm like, yeah, I'll put it off. Hi, Perry. Happy Easter to you. Good to see you. Hi, Brenda. Cold and rainy in SoCal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, at least there's rain in California. I can't complain with that, True. right? Mm hmm. So, question: Has anybody been picking this week and found anything good? Um. I'll tell you, we did a private pick. What was that, David? Friday? Friday? Yeah. Yeah, Friday. Friday. We did another private pick on Friday, and it was really good. It's a local friend of mine that was cleaning out her um, booth from a vintage shop here in the Springs. And she was like, I am just not having any luck selling anything kitschy. It's This shop is more of like, a lot of trendy vintage clothing and stuff. And it kind of caters to like a, I think more of a younger crowd. And she's like, nobody wants my kitsch. So I pulled everything from the shop. And do you want, do you, do you want to go through this? And I was like, yes. Uh -huh. So we went through some boxes and I found some really neat stuff for my girl Greta in her, in this private pick of Christie's. And <clears throat> so she was able to Christy, my friend that I did the private pick with, um, she had a Mobley giraffe blow mold for those of you that may know what that is. It was like different colored, had spots all over it. And she sent that to Greta's to super junk to use as a, um, a little hanging rack. And it's so cute. So I was able to facilitate a good deal between Christy and Greta. And then also I found some great vintage. So part of what we have tonight is from our private pick with Christy. Um, and then some stuff that we found throughout the week. So, okay. Bussamu found a big fine. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Yes. I want to know. Oh my gosh, Bridget. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Ooh. That is weird. So, for this what did you find? I want to know, did anybody else find anything good this week? Um, I really was excited to find kitsch because that's what I have the hardest time finding around here. So um, Wordsmith said, found a little bronze man posted in a friend's group. Nifty. He's really cool. I think I've seen that one. I'll have to go look for her. Um, oh, I found a vintage tin and a mosaic motif in the wild made in Holland. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Yes. Tell us, Bus and Move, what did you find? Uh, amazing. Big nope in Ohio. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I've heard it's rough there. I have. <clears throat> so, um, biggest. What did you, what was your big find this week? I don't remember anything that I found that I wanted to keep. I'm trying to remember. But then I'm thinking there was something. Oh, David, I know what we have this week. Um, that pink striped decanter. Yeah, let me go grab it. Okay. Oh, you found a blow mold of one of the three wise men. That's so cool. Those are so much fun. I love that. Um, Karen Chase, if she is watching, has, I think, was it the camel that she bought from us from that nativity set? And she loves it and she dresses it up and changes it out for the seasons with different stuff. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Annette said, I found two packages on my front porch that some people from Colorado sent me. <laughs> Great picking. <I> love it. <laughs> that, hey, yeah, that, that is so, good. Yeah, we were going to bring this to the sale, but as soon as we got it home from that private pick, it was like, well, it works so good on our um, hutch. 
In, yes. Yeah. So it's got like the pale pinks, the ribbing, and it's a liquor decanter that would have had actual liquor in it when it was sold. Yeah. So yeah, we kept this guy. And then Sarah scored big on this. So I wasn't going to toss this up to her, but I just have to give a shout out. This Hootie Owl, his name is Witty. He's so cute. He's coming to a sale soon. He's not coming tonight, but he is coming to a sale soon. I got that Stife Owl this week with big green glass eyes. And I was thinking about saving him for fall, but then I was like, you know what? Owls are kind of something that I know that all of us love year round. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah him's cute. those are two big finds for the week for us. Yeah, big find, yeah. love it. Oh, good, Susan. She said her light shade is incredible. Oh, cool. Yes, that is very cool. All right, Spotty said she found a pottery vase marked Prano. I think it might be something you know what? I'm gonna screenshot that really quick so I can look it up later. See, Tom, um, yeah, okay. I just screenshotted it so I will know. Oh my gosh, um, Wordsmith, how did you know? I think he it has something in it. I squeezed it and you could hear like a burp, but now I can't hear anything. Oh dear. I think don't, I just, don't hit I, that leg. <laughs> not I, don't, an Easter I, I have no idea. Not an huh. Easter egg. No, he's not making any sounds, but he's plushy and cool. He's got huge feet too, so you can like bend them and move them all around. Really yeah, cool. he oh. has like completely wired. Oh, and his little head turns all the way around. How fun is that? Yes, I yeah. love him. He's oh, cool. Kathy said, I found a baby clothes hamper from the 60s. I'm using it as storage for all my vintage linens. That's such a good idea. That, that is, is so good. cute. Oh, Kathy, I love those little kitschy hampers too. Um, mm -hmm. Like the neat little designs on them. Some have like nursery rhymes. I remember I bought one years ago. And then I remember thinking, well, what am I going to do with this? I wish I would have done that. Great for vintage linens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Word uh, I broke them. We had a janky ham. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Too funny. So uh, that being said, we are going to do some trivia tonight for, um, for some Coleman books. So definitely put on your trivia hats. Oh, Terry, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, just a shower and a blow dry. Nothing fancy. So thank you. So much. Thank you. Um, Kelly said, I found a double queen size peach afghan in perfect shape. Like I needed another afghan. Listen, <laughs> never too many afghans because right. you can wash them, especially if you have pets. Like I, I have a constant rotation of blankets in and out for our dog to snuggle on and stuff. And a lot of them are crocheted Afghans and they love them. So, yes. Oh, Amy said she held her one month old cousin today. It's new oh, baby. Oh, I love that new baby smell and feel so sweet. That makes me all melty. Aww. Yes. Kurza, how are you? Good to see you. So guys, we, um, we have curated a bunch of cool stuff for tonight. It is an eclectic mix. We got a little bit of everything um, and lots of fun springy colors and everything. So we're definitely um, ready to show you what we got. It is 630. If anybody else wants to chat about anything, um, definitely drop it. Okay, Brad's got a cool question. What's older, items labeled Japan or made in Japan? Just wondering. That is a good question. And I genuinely don't know. Um, but I would have a feeling that Japan or made in Japan would be along the similar lines, right? I mean, or, yes. or I think when they first started out doing stuff like imported from Japan, it, it probably was just a little Japan sticker, but I, I really don't know. Just guessing I'm thinking it's probably Japan and then made in Japan later on. I don't know. I don't know either. I genuinely don't know, Brad, but that's a great question. Susan okay. said Japan. Okay. Nippon. Okay. I really am not right. sure because to me, it's just semantics, Japan or maiden. You know what I mean? Like, right. I feel like it's all kind of the same era, especially on most of the kitsch stuff that we find. Um, but yeah, that's, I'll have to, you know what? I will get back to you. I, I will find out. The yeah. dogs are so good. They are so good and so happy. 
And um, after Lamb Chop had her last bizarre haircut that she got at the groomer, we decided, okay, we're going to break down and we're going to buy our own grooming stuff. So we got the clippers, the trimmers, all the different heads, the scissors, all that stuff, right? So we took the dogs outside. I think that was Friday evening. And it was nice out. Yeah. So we took them out to the patio. And we started, we groomed Skipper a little bit. We groomed Lamb Chop. And um, yeah, we're moonlighting as uh, semi-pro dog groomers. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it for anything, but Dave is really good with the tool. I like basically shaved a little bald spot in Lamb Chop. <laughs> well, it honestly was just a, mis uh, you know, a learning uh, mistake. You took the guard <laughs> off to clean it and then forgot to put the guard on and went back to the head. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> Oops. I know it is fun. And I'm learning as I go watching some YouTube videos and I made the clippers go the wrong way, which was my big <laughs> downfall when I first started doing it. So, um, Oh, Leslie has info for us. Okay. We've been Googling designation made in occupied Japan. Yes. We know that's 45 to 52 while Japan continued to be used after the occupation period after 1952 items were marked with made in Japan or Japan. All right. There's our answer. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you. Thank you. Phil's got an answer too. Japan was first then made in Japan. The letter was disrated because the U.S. passed some legislation to ensure imported goods clearly indicated where the item was made. Okay, interesting. So it follows some legislatory stuff as well. Which makes sense, you know, as trade started kind of booming between the countries, you know, they had to put in some different rules and yeah. stipulations. So that makes sense. What, a, what an interesting time period, too. Uh, really. really. A, lot of, a lot of interesting history during that time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Agreed. All right, you guys. Well, let's get started on our sale. I know we were going to chat for um, about 30 minutes, so we have definitely done that. And again, if you still want to chat and visit with everybody in the chat, please do. Um, 133 of you in the house tonight. If you would please throw a subscribe on my channel and make sure you give a thumbs up on this stream while you're here. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much. Me too, yeah. Spotty. I appreciate it. And I love learning together because we certainly don't know everything, but um, we have drawn on so much information and knowledge from all of you guys in the chat um, and different people we've met in the vintage community. I think the whole vintage process itself is like an ever evolving, ever, ever learning process. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. I, I really do enjoy the learning part of it along with you guys and all the history. Oh, good, Susan. I'm oh, so good. glad. Yay. Yay. I love to hear when you guys love your stuff. And um, yeah, we actually, oh my gosh, we had a broken package this week. That rarely ever happens. Yeah. And um, it wasn't us. It was definitely um, something in that had been ugly ugly thrown around so yeah. um it happens once in a blue moon but if it ever does happen you know we refund you so yes, always let us know yes yeah well let's go ahead then and get this party started let's get to the vintage we've got a lot of cool stuff to get through tonight again a lot of it's from a private pick and we have some really um interesting things that i hadn't seen before so with that being said, um, we will do a couple of trivia questions for Coleman Cash later on in the show. So how about at 7 and 7.30? 7 Perfect. and 7.30, let's do $5 in Coleman Cash. And remind me, we're going to play 80s trivia for it, okay? Um, I know 9% of you guys... Um, know how this goes, but for anybody that might be hanging out on Easter and doesn't know how it goes, um, basically we're going to show you an item and we'll put the price up on the screen and then you will be able to um, count it. Uh, it will count it down as you bid on it in the comments. We'll do a quick countdown from 15 seconds. Lisa will enter the words bid end and uh, then the bidding will end. So the highest bidder prior to the bid end and the comments is going to take it. Now, just so you guys definitely um, see the comments in the same order as David and I, we would ask for you to be in live chat 
or what they call all messages. If you are in top chat, you are not going to see the comments in the same order that David and I see them in. So, um, and then it also can throttle the comments to where it won't be in order for you and it causes a lot of confusion. So if you'll make sure you're in live chat, if you think you may want to bid on something. Bye, Hippie. Bye, Heidi. Good to see you, sweetie. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for popping in and saying hi to us. Um, sure. <clears throat> yes, Easter. So um, that's pretty much it. We ship from Colorado. David and I are in the same household. So that means combined shipping for anything that you buy tonight will come all together. Um, in one box, one invoice. We invoice on Mondays. So if you purchase something from Greta's on Wednesday night, I'm going to combine that invoice for you. And we actually have an appointment in Denver tomorrow. I'm getting a new tattoo. Yay. Um, and it's going to be of my little dog's names and their paw prints, my do our dogs that we lost. So I'm doing that tomorrow, which means I'm going to actually send invoices late tonight. Uh, if you get your invoice tonight, don't stress, pay it tomorrow. It's fine. It's a holiday. But I wanted to let you guys know I will be invoicing tonight. Okay. So, because uh, we have a busy day tomorrow. So, that is that. Um, if anybody's got any questions, please drop them in the chat. Uh, my mod squad and the other people in the chat will be happy to help you. Okay. So, that's pretty much the deal. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the yeah. deal, Pickles. That's the right. deal, Pickles. That's the deal. All right. So, honey, I'm going to make you go first. No. Okay. Yeah. Let's show the people the vintage on Easter. Easter vintage. The vintage. Uh, let's see. Oh, thanks, Amy. Thanks, Susan. Yeah, I had this appointment and David gave me a gift card like forever ago for my birthday. So I'm still using my gift card um, for my artist. And that was what I decided on. So I'm going to leave some room, you know, for future stuff <sighs> i know i can't even think about it okay here we Say go that. all right well i know it's not part yet but i will i will i'll show you guys yes hi paranormal society welcome in how you hi. doing all right so we're i'm going to start out with a pack a little pack of puppies um and i'm doing these for let's adjust my light sorry about that so bright behind me so i'm doing them as a family for 12 um, they yeah. are cute little uh, ceramic, ceramic bone china. Um, there's no more little terriers. Yeah. So Mama is laying down, and the two little puppies. We have one that sits over next to Mama, and the other one looks like he's up to no good. He's about to play, and they measure right about an inch and a, or I'm sorry, two inches, and then about inch and a half on the little fellas. And they have the white and the blue. I don't know if the blue's popping in. It's a little bright. Let's try to block it. That's a little better. There you go. Um, yeah. So they've got the blue and then kind of like an off-white color. Oh, that's so cute. And I just love them. I've, these are great for your little little shelf, or if you want to add them into like um, an area that has some of your animals. I feel like that's mama and babies. Oh yeah. This is mama and the babies. Mama and the babies. Papa went running. I don't he know was where a he rolling went. stone. He's a rolling stone. That's yeah. right. There we go. So that shows their color a little bit better. They're just little guys. So they're all coming together as a family. You can move them around any way you want. But like, I got him now sitting behind Mama being protected. Aww. This one makes me think of our dog, Rainbow, because Rainbow is very playful. And she's the kind that like she'll be looking forward and then turn around for the excitement um, without like turning her whole body. It's kind of silly like that. Yeah, puppy at the pub. So I'm not seeing any interest. Once again, $12 for the set of three and they're all in good condition. Nice little fellas, little puppies. So um, bring these back for the recap. Thank you guys. Uh, well, I am gonna start out with some coolness. And, you know, I was thinking of everyone's mermaid bathroom with this uh, item. And I'm going to start this at 30. Really cool piece. And I have actually never seen this before. And there is not another one on the internet right at the moment. This is actually made by DeForest. 
And um, a lot of you guys know DeForest for their ceramic and pottery anthropomorphic kitsch items. They also make this exact fish as a little um, wall sconce. And this is a hand painted DeForest plate. And it's also marked on the back side, DeForest, California, USA. Oh, cool. And um, again, another California pottery company, very popular in the 50s. Uh, this does date to the 50s. And it's a nice black matte ceramic. Uh, it measures right at 11 inches in diameter as far as size. And it has this little hanger on the back that is fabric. So you can hang it if you like that way. Or of course, you could always sit it up on a shelf. But I like the colors. I think it's really, really cute. And yeah. the neat thing about this too is, you know, I was telling you DeForest makes the actual little ceramic fishes that look like this. They match. So their anthropomorphic fish that you can buy actually matches this little hand painted ditty. Now, okay, I will tell you, this is unglazed. So if you go to wipe it down to wash it, dust it, clean it, do not put anything abrasive on it. Do not even use much water. Um, I would take maybe like a damp sponge at best. Um, try to dust it, like dry dust it if you can, right. because all of that is non-glazed hand painted. So definitely use care when cleaning it. But God, this is such a neat piece. Yeah, and it is in great shape. It does not have any chips or cracks. And what I thought was funny is it does have like the little holes up here. So there's two holes up here, but then these holes right here are the ones that were actually punched out and go through to the front side. So yeah, yeah really cool piece. I'm asking $30 for it. You will not find another one on the internet. Um, it is great. And it's perfect for anywhere you need a little nautical moment, anywhere you need a fishy um, your mermaid bathroom. Oh, yes. Mermaid bathroom. Yes. Great colors too. It's kind of like a carnation pink. And then it goes into like a little bit of a darker maroon in places. So yeah. just a fun piece. I love the hand painting. It's really nicely done. And DeForest is a very reputable California pottery brand. Um, so mm -hmm. many different neat DeForest pieces. In fact, at Greta's Wednesday night, we sold the um the garlic keeper, the divorce. Yeah, garlic the divorce. Yes. Mm -hmm. So thirty dollars on our fishy piece. If anybody's interested, I'm not seeing any interest. So we will bring it back for the recap. Thank you guys. Okay. Awesome. All right, that is a really cool, mm -hmm. cool little fella. I didn't realize it was deforest. I mean, I didn't yeah. look at it. Before. <clears throat> and yeah, I love the grays, um, the charcoal, the gray and black with that pink very classy. Yes. So um, I have um, something from the private pick as well. This is from the 60s and it's that a TV tray with the legs. Love that. Lovata merry-go-round made by Lovata. Um, and you can see you've got the kiddos on the carousel. You've got a lion back there. He's, got a, he's riding a big old turtle. Riding, yeah, that's a turtle. All right. We've got the elephant. Really fun Chris or, or TV tray for um, a kitsch display, but also great to actually use. Yes. Because you do have the working legs and they just fold down. Yeah. Nice and easy. Isn't that adorable? And of course you do have some patina, a little bit of dingies here, but nothing bad at all. Um, a very collectible tray. Um, and it, I didn't measure it, but I think it's about 15 by 12, something like that. Yeah. Usually they are kind of like a standard yeah. size. These are nice too. If you're um, liking breakfast in bed, they are perfect to, you know, eat breakfast. Or if you have a kiddo that you want to mm -hmm. serve breakfast in bed, so sweet and fun. I like the seal one too. Look at his big fanny. So cute. Oh, yeah. I love that. My favorite is the elephant up front. He is like straight out running. Yeah, the eye and everything. Yeah. Also, if you have a circus display with like animals, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, um, <laughs> this would be darling in a vintage circus display as well. Oh, yeah. Or if you have a chicken display. Uh oh. <laughs> Seriously, like it, it looks good with anything. So let's go ahead and count down. Kathy's in at 19. <laughs> um, here we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. 
seven six five four three two one there's Bucky's buddy bid end oh Amy said <laughs> Leviathan Carnival Leviathan <laughs> Carnival <laughs> you're killing me dude oh my goodness you funny Victoria, I see you're 21 thank you and Laz is in at 22 super and cute and there's our bid end congrats Laza for 22 yay thank congratulations you, you guys yeah. A cute pickup. I love that piece. Yes. Oh, adorable. Thanks, All Liza. righty. I am going to go this way. And this is for any Barbie lovers that might be out there. I have Barbie and she's snazzy for Easter. Um, this is going to start, David, at 30. And you're going to get, this is actually a two for You're going to get two different things. So first of all, this is absolutely darling. I got this at my private pick. She is vintage from 1993 on this music box. Um, but she's actually Barbie. Uh, and she is the gay Parisian 1959. So that is why she's got on this cute little balloon dress with the bow at the bottom. Is that not the cutest thing? Okay. And the little net on her hair. And then she's got the best ponytail. And the song that she plays, this is a Sankyo Japan um, music box, is, what does it say? Light up. Oh, you light up my life. Hold on. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to let her spin a little bit. And this is mirrored, and it's so cute all the way around. Oh. great that it works so good. yeah it's beautiful and so she spins and look this is like her little stand that she is as a doll so you've got the little stand holding her up and she cute and then with it you're going to get look at this this is the cutest little thing this is a hallmark ornament from 2001 discontinued barbie and it's a the little case i think greta actually had one of these cases at her place but look it's got the tiniest, tiniest little opening. And then you open it up and look, she's in there. You've got Barbie, her accessories in. She comes out and there she is. So she's going to come with this. Now, this particular little ornament goes for anywhere from 16 to 25 alone because it is discontinued Barbie by Hallmark from 2001. Um, and so th this is going to come all together with the Barbie music box and the sweet little ornament. So this is a great deal. Fun twofer. I love her little sweet polka dotted navy dress and her pearls. She's in excellent shape. No issues to any of this. And I really feel like her music that she plays is exceptional. Like some music boxes are kind of meh. This one actually really plays great music. That's my sound. Yeah, super sweet. So you're going to get the Barbie and you're going to get the little ornament with her inside. That would make a cool display. Yeah, really great for display. And if you are a Barbie collector or lover, this is a very good deal. Yes. So, again, so how tall is the music box? That's a good question. The music box is eight and, a, eight and three quarters. So she is eight and three quarters uh, tall and width is right at four inches. And then the little, um, the little tiny box is only two and a half by two. So okay. two and a half by two on the little music box. And then she, or on the little ornament, she comes out and look, her little microphone stand is even in there and her little pink outfit. How neat is that? And then look, Barbie herself does have a little hanger as well. Awesome. So really cool Barbie collector's items. Um, again, both discontinued. You cannot get these anymore. And you would only be able to buy these from a reseller. So I'm going to start a countdown. Less I see you at 30, sweetie. Thank you so much. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in for the Barbie combo. You're going to get beautiful little mirrored turning music box. The gay Parisian from 1959 is what she is representing. I love vintage Barbie stuff. Super cute. 
They made a lot of great stuff in the 90s, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Les, it's coming to you for 30. Congrats, sweetie. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So I have, so Sarah, I don't know if you noticed, but you counted down from 10. <laughs> oh my God. You know why? Because I'm used because to live shopping. Things. I'm so yeah, sorry. Fast paced. So nice. while we're talking about that, don't forget to make sure you're subscribed to the traveling button vintage here on YouTube. And then Wednesday or Thursday, we don't know for sure yet. Um, but also every Wednesday and every Sunday we have sales here. But um, make sure you subscribe because when we do the shop alongs, that way you'll get the um, notification that we're doing our live shop along. So um, I have a couple of really kitschy guys that I think are amazing for barware, in my opinion, or if you have a nautical theme going on. Um, mm -hmm. I'm starting these off at 30. They are both, they're made in Japan. Um, this one, I want to say, would have had a sticker that was just Japan or, yeah, the little japan stickers because i've seen these before yeah um, he's got that nice green stripe at the bottom and you've got the sailor with the pipe so um you've got great pieces like when you're we have a bar set up you want to have some salt so you can have salt for your um different things that you're serving but i just think they're really kitschy cool with that not a cool he's, he's a salty sailor yeah he's salty sailor are oh, yeah. yeah and right. he's, yeah they've got their little hats on looks like they're they could be twins they could be buddies they could be lovers they're really cool and if you have a boat or a nautical type of thing going on i think they'd be amazing and i will say this one does have his cork i want to say his is stuck nope so no cork in this one but the other one does have it not that it not absolutely matters because they do um, have a really cool display value because the shaker itself is on the back side of the hat. So it looks like just a regular figurine. Yes. Yeah, salt and pepper for Bloody Marys. Absolutely. Yeah. I think yeah. they're great. And um, again, perfect for display. And if you had like two different areas of your house for a nautical theme, you could put one somewhere and one somewhere else. They Very don't need true. to stay together. They're really oh, cool. Absolutely. Old yeah, baby old. Thing. I love that idea. <laughs> That's a great but, idea. Perfect. Yeah, anytime we can grab something that has like tobacco uh, pipe and stuff like that, because that's not very uh, trendy anymore. So that also gives it kind of a nice value to it. Um, they measure right at three inches in height. So they do fit in most of the like the Coke bottle display um, shelves and also some of the uh, typewriter ones. So. I think we sold one other set of these, and we used to have a set of these in our personal collection, and we just loved them, and we thought they were great because it, it really is the old, um, you know, the old sea captain hunting for Moby Dick. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but they date to the 50s, and they are yes. great. Yes, 50s, definitely 50s. Yeah, and if you like nautical or any kind of world travel type of thing, I think it would really add to your display. For sure. So, oh, mermaid bathroom. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, they're looking That's for the mermaid. mermaid. Bathroom. Heck yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any interest, so I will bring them back for the recap. I bet they like ham that tastes like hot dogs. Oh, I bet <laughs> they make that all the time. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. That's Bye right. Please throw a thumbs up on my channel. I'm hoping to get to 4K soon. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. That would be wonderful. Um, and you are so right about Old, Bla Old Bay and the Bloody Mary. Heck yes. Oh, <laughs> and the blood of Mary. All right, I am going to do these because I think they are so cool. And um, I got these from my private pick, and they are in really nice shape, and they are just darling. Um, I'm starting these at 45. They are really hard to find. You will not find another set of these on the internet right now. Try. They're not there. They are not there. And what I found out after researching these for a bit is what's nice about them is they're not, you know, a lot of the mid-century canisters were a very hard celluloid style kind of plastic. This is rubber and um, they are marked on the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. And after doing a little digging, it's T-R, there it is, T-R-O-L. And um, they are a brand that is early Rubbermaid right there. 
So these are exceptionally hard to find. They date to the 60s. And they have these really great uh, mid-century style flowers, sunflowers all the way up. So you have the largest one and the biggest one, let me tell you. What I like about them too is you're not really going to be relegated to stay in the kitchen with these. You could use them for a bathroom. You could use them literally for anything, your craft room. They don't scream kitchen to me, but of course they'd be nice for a kitchen. So this one's nine inches tall and the width is six and a half on the lid. So that's the biggest one. And the inside, FYI, is nice and clean. And they um, are kind of, they're kind of bendy, right? So they're not going to break. They're not going to crack like a lot of the hard plastic ones do. Um, and they hold a lot of stuff. So here we are with some functional vintage. We've got the medium one that is also just the same design, looking great. And then the smallest one, ooh, let me get that lid on. There we go. And you can see the lids fit nice and snug, which I love. Mm -hmm. There's medium and large. And then we have our smallest one. And the smallest one is right at six and a half inches tall and four and a half inches wide. So these are so groovy. I absolutely love them. They're in nice shape too for their age. Um, and they are Rubbermaid style. So it's very early Rubbermaid. Hi, Bathtub Mary. Welcome. Um, I know. Aren't they cool? And so again, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, right. craft room, wherever you need some groovy vintage uh, canisters, these are there for you. Kimry and I see at 45. You had a good point. Those look great with gooseberry Pyrex. Oh my God, that's a great idea. I didn't even think about that. They would. They And they're that same kind of yummy carnation pink as gooseberry. Right. So, um, and if you are deciding you only want to do a few of them, they do stack inside each other for shipping. So that's what's nice is I will be able to stack them all together and ship them to you yeah. and they won't take up as much space. So they are just so stinking cute. Hi, Kimmery, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I know, aren't they great, Mary? They're just wonderful. So you're gonna get all three. We're at 46. Let's go ahead and start a countdown on these. Here we go. 10, nine. Uh, start eight. at 15, Sarah. Oh my God, that's right. I keep, I keep forgetting to start the countdowns at 15. Help me. Help me. All right. Uh, yeah. 15. 15. 14. <laughs> Thank you, David. 13. Yeah. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Looking for a bid end. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Yay. Hi, Peachy. Welcome in, honey. Good to see you. We are at 46 with Bus and Move. Looking for 47 or that bid in. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I love vintage storage too. And again, you will be the only person out there with these because you cannot find any others on the internet. I will tell you that right now. All right, there is my bid in. Miss Bus and Move coming to you for 46. Congratulations, Congrats. love. These are fantastic. Such yeah. a nice score. Congrats. So um, my next item is, let me write this in choice i have a choice item and they're both like usable items for sure but also great just for decor um first off we have the um lobeco made in italy and it is in this complete box still and it's this set uh the salt pepper oil and vinegar set really nice um has never been taken out of the box so you have like the rubbery um wrapped pieces and those are the green glass and then I'll show you the box. The box actually has a really cool graphics with like browns and greens and all the way around. And it has, still has its lid as well. So I'll undo the lid. And I don't think, yeah. So we've got like barware type of design on there Aww. as well as some lamps and stuff like that. So it's a really neat piece. Um, great for a gift as well, um, but just a really nice display piece. So that is the first choice. Second choice is one that um, one of our private picks, and this was actually hers for a long time and decided to go ahead and part with it. Um, so it is the Beams 10 pin. Well, this is from 1968, came with wow. liquor. So it came with liquor and has the markings on the bottom. 
And it's glass, but I do believe it's like a painted glass, like a shellac paint. So it's not milk glass, but it is a working decanter. So you can untwist and use it as you'd like. Um, but I think it's also a great piece just to put in your bar display. Oh, you know, yeah. You've got, the, you've got the hiding alcohol in the 10 pin. That's fun. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And it still has its original tag here. You can always clean that off, but that's good to, to keep, you know, for collectors. So those are the two things I have for choice. We're going to count down. I'm going to show you. And this, of course, comes with its lid. And then we have the decanter. So if anyone else, what do you think? What do you think, Stanley? I think these are great. You need to put them in your man cave for Stanley yeah. and the Easter Bunny. Okay. Stanley the Easter Bunny approves of Jim Beams <laughs> and Ben. <Ben>. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and count her down. And this is fun. Also, you can put a Christmas hat on them at Christmas time. Hey, um, David. Yeah, what's up? Smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if anybody wants to get in, you can. Thank you, Phil. Here we go. 15, 14. Uh, this guy measures right at 10 inches tall. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good in. Yes. I know, right? Mm -hmm. So cute as the little Chianti picnic, um, picnic servers. That would be awesome. Totally. Love the oil and vinegar one. That one's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Really cute. And I love New York stock too. How cool is it? It's still in the box, you know? Yeah. Okay, Phil, I'm pretty sure I know what you want. Just let me know for sure if you want the um, kitchen set, the oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper, or if you want the bowling pin um, decanter. Those are fun choices. Thank you. A uh, box of bottles sent to Susan Arvuvu. Awesome. Congrats, Susan. Phil M is sending you a beautiful gift. That is that awesome. That is so sweet of you, Phil. And you are such a wonderful cheerleader in this community. Yeah. I just have to tell you how lovely it is to have you in our chat. And thank you for gifting people things. That is so sweet, honey. Yeah, thank so you. Sweet. Thank so you. Nice. So nice. All right. So I got into a little treasure trove of head bases again. And... These are really fun, and they are each going to come with a vintage hanky, so how about that? Um, I am starting these at $26 for choice. Okay. And first up in our choice is this little elegant beauty, and I just fell in love with her gold accents. I think she's gorgeous, and look at that perfect red lipstick. Um, she is glazed all the way around. She has gorgeous little applied flowers at the neck. And those are not chips at the bottom. That's just a little black paint loss. If you wanted to, you could go over that with a black magic marker. Now, that being said, anytime you touch up a piece, okay, whether it's kitsch, whether it's, you know, valuable, anytime you touch up a piece, it does lose a little value, which is why I never touch pieces up myself. Okay. Um, but I just think she is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And she is going to come with this yummy little hanky. It is blue roses and some Lily of the Valley. And I just had it stuck in her head because I thought it looked cute. So that is going to be choice number one. Oh, and here is the best part. They did the back of her hair in gold as well. And what I found out is this is a sweet little hobbyist piece made by Linda in 1954. How cool is that? Linda signed it. Linda signed her hobbyist head base piece. So just beautiful. Choice one. And she's coming with her little hanky. Okay. Awesome. All right. So moving on to choice number two. This little gal is absolutely darling. And I will tell you, I've sold several of this same style before, but never have I found one with the slots up here. And all I can figure is maybe she is a toothpick or a toothbrush holder. And she has a hole on the back as a wall pocket. So this gal can hang on the wall. She does have those little tiny openings. Again, she's going to come with this hanky. And this one is organza with little applied um, embroidered flowers. Really sweet. And um, I love her hat. It's green. She has um, pink blush on. Just real cute for spring, right? Yeah. So um, she's going to be choice two. Now, I'm going to let you know she's in as-is shape. She does have a hairline right there. 
Is it noticeable? No, it is not. Which is, you know, I'm one of those people where I don't like to leave a piece behind because of a chip or a hairline. And right. unless it completely compromises the piece or it looks terrible. In that case, I won't pick it up. But this is just precious. She is so gorgeous. And I love um, that mint baby green that she is wearing. And again, you can hang her on the wall. Um, if you want to put her in the bathroom for toothbrushes, you certainly could. So she's going to be choice number two. And then I have choice number three. And I really like her um, matching hanky. I think she's really cute. She has the most gorgeous blue eyes and look at the glaze on her really blush great lips gorgeous pin curled blonde hair and she has kind of a green ruffle around her and what i found out about her is she is actually made by horton ceramics and horton is a, a less known brand when it comes to head vases and ceramics but they made quite a few different head vase styles in their day and this dates to late 40s early 50s and then the hanky in her is a yummy two-tone green with some little uh peachy flowers and i love just it. thought you know what how cute is that for spring and i just love to stick those in there and then you can arrange it however you want to make the hanky cute right yeah so these are all coming. Okay. To me. Um, she hears a who. That's right. She's a Horton. <laughs> um, this girl, I did not find a brand on her. Um, and then the first girl was a hobbyist piece by Linda from 1954. So they're all very elegant in their own way. And I just thought they were stunning and beautiful. Uh, no chips or cracks on these pieces either, other than the little hairline that I noted on the side, where is it, for that gal right there, okay? So, but it does not compromise the piece at all. Hang her on the wall with pride. So they're all coming with their vintage hankies. I'm gonna start a countdown. Thank you guys so much for the bids. We're at 39 with Verlaine looking for 40. Okay, so Annette's in at 45. We're gonna start our countdown. Here we go. Annette, I knew you meant for 45. I know it's 45, babe. Yeah, thank you so much, Wordsmith. Yeah, such a fun way right. to play old hankies with your head faces. So I'm starting our countdown. Here we go, friends. Uh, 15, 14, 13. Thank you for the reminder, David. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one looking for a bid end. This one is again Horton Ceramics. Look how beautiful her eyelashes are. I really feel like the craftsmanship on these is just precious. I yeah. love her gold accents. She is so demure and elegant. And this little sweetie just wants to hang on the wall and hang out. So um, just so pretty. I love these. There's my bid in. Annette for 46, honey. Let me know which one that you would like. We'll just call this one black. Um, we'll call this one green and we will call her, let's call her pink because of her flowers. Okay. So pink, black, or green. Okay. Thank you so much. And then behind Annette is going to be Verlaine and thrifting in the past. Okay. So behind, um, Annette, if I called your name, hang out. You may get the one that you want. You never know. Could the green one be a floral frog? Oh, my God, Peachy Me. Yeah, it totally could. That's such a good idea. Yeah, it totally could be a floral frog. Maybe that's oh, yeah. what it is. I was like, toothbrush holder? I don't know. Um, so the two green ones, you've got it, sweetie. Those are going to Annette. And then for Lane. For Lane, did you want our sweetie from 1954 with the hanky? And again, these hankies are nice. Just put them in any old way, make the little ends kind of hang out, poke out, give her some dimension. Super duper cute, right? Very cool. So Verlaine, if you want her, let me know. Or you can say pass. And then if Verlaine passes, we're going to thrifting in the past. And I believe that's everybody. And that is everybody. All right. So Verlaine and thrifting in the past, let me know. And thank you so much, Annette. And thank you guys, all the bidders. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You so yes, Verlaine said yes, please. You've got it, sweetie. Thank you. Congrats. All right. So my next item is a cookie jar. 
It is empty. We do not have any cookies in there. I wanted to show you. We do have some crazing. So I'm going to show you on the inside. It's clean, but that's just that age. And then on the outside as well. But not too bad. There's no chips or dings on this guy. And he is the happiest spring bear I've ever seen. So he is a cookie jar made by American Bisque. Um, late 1940s and into the early 50s. Um, and he is so adorable. Reminds oh, me of like Shawnee and stuff like that. But it's made by American Bisque. And you can set his head any any old way you want to, and it still lines up nicely. Um, he's got a little flower on his lapel. Aww. Pocket right there. And his big old paws just kind of like sticking out there. He is just absolutely adorable. On the back side, he, you can see his um, suspenders, and then he's got the bow, red bow on the back. But yeah, look at those cheeks, those rosy cheeks. Um, and he is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Late 40s, and I'm trying to see, honestly, the crazing isn't too bad until you get into certain spots. So like right here, you can see the crazing in there. And that just means the outside layer just has little little um, spots, but like it doesn't affect the display or its um, durability. Yeah. It's just so, the glaze that's not it's, actual cracking. Yeah, yeah, it's just the glaze, no cracking. So he's in excellent condition. I'll show you his bottom. He's definitely been used and loved for many, many years. He measures right at 11 inches tall. Oh, um, he's so cute. Yeah, isn't he? So could you imagine the kiddos coming and just taking his ear off and going in for a biscuit or a cookie? Yeah, I love awesome. him. And the fact that his head has lasted through all those cookie trips for mm -hmm. so long. Oh, I no. know. The fact that he is not broken and he's withstood lots of cookies. Yeah. yeah. He's so yeah. cute. I agree. All right. Let's go ahead and count down. Um, Kathy's in at 34. Thank you so much. And if anybody else wants to get in, once again, ninth, late 1940s by American Bisque. And would look really good with Shawnee Pottery as well and McCoy. I mean, like he's... He's definitely got that 40s vibe going on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Right. <laughs> Let's go mess with the ranger. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Did end. Did end. Hey, buddy. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on Easter. I hope everybody's had a nice day. Hi, Nita. Filled with some yummy eats. Yeah. And thank you for hanging out with us. Good vibes in here tonight. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, Nita. All right. There's our bid in. Congrats, Kathy, coming to you for 34. Awesome. Congrats, Kathy. Such a nice pickup. I love that. Okie dokie. I am going to do, all right, I have this little atomizer girl, and I will tell you, this is one of the rare kitsch pieces I've come by recently. Um, I am really, really smitten with her, and I'm starting her at 45, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, she is made by D.E.V., and they were a perfume company and they sold the perfume out of these little ladies. And she is a little flower girl. She has her hand up to her flower. These typically go for anywhere from 55 to 75. And I will tell you the color combo that I came across with the pink and green is nowhere to be found. Um, it's a very hard colorway. There are other colorways. There's blues, there's yellows, there's different hairstyles. This particular one is very, very hard to find. Now, let me show you. She's got little applied flowers on her umbrella right there. That is not a chip, FYI. It's just a little place where the gold uh, line has worn off. It's not a chip. She is in her little flower dress. And then look how precious the little atomizer is. Now, the atomizer moves. It's a little wonky, right? It'll move whichever way you sit her. But when she sits, she sits still. And this is a harder to find piece. It is so cute. Hi, Muppets. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, 
on the bottom, she is marked DEV. These were um, typically made in the early 1950s. The little atomizer no longer pumps, but I will tell you, she has on the inside, if you unscrew this, um, all of that is still intact. And there's a little piece of plastic down in there um, that would have sat in here. Now, I think that she probably was in the perfume so long that all of this froze up, which is really par for the course for atomizers yeah. from the 50s, right? They do. They would freeze up. But again, who's actually going to use her? Put her in your vintage vanity display. She is a very hard to find little pink and green flower girl. So very exciting find for me as a kitsch collector myself. Uh, she has the little sugar glaze centers into her flowers. And then look at the little back. Isn't that the cutest thing? She's got a little stem at the point of her hat. And the pink and green color combo to me just makes it. She That's is so cute. Thank you, Susan Arvuvu. She is um, not an easy to find piece. Uh, this is the first one in 11, 12 years of selling vintage that I've ever found. So I'm pretty smitten with her. Um, 45 is actually a good price on her. If you look online, they start usually around 60 and up. So... Yeah, this is a good deal on her and she's in nice shape other than her little atomizer is just wobbly. But, you know, when you were using her, you wouldn't want to press it down too hard because then the umbrella would hit her face. Right. So um, if you just sit her still, she displays wonderfully. Yeah, so cute. Again, vintage vanity, vintage bathroom, or just put her in your flower display if you have any of the other little uh, anthropomorphic flower girls. Yeah. This is a rare one. This is a rare piece of kitsch. So um, if I don't find a home for her tonight, we will list her elsewhere. Um, but 45 is what I'm asking. And again, good price on her. That's about $15 less than where you'll find these elsewhere. So awesome. and this colorway, you don't That's see sure. the pink and the green together with the little mm -hmm. yellow centers. Is it she springy and cute? Yeah. Who, I was going to ask who makes those uh, ceramic, um, the the flower girls that have like the flower hats, kind of like that. I can't remember. I don't know without looking it up. I'm not I, rem sure. I remember just those, like the the figure ones that aren't even the perfume things, are very collectible and hard to find. Yes, and, they are. Yeah. Yeah, she is a really special piece. When we ship her, I will be taking this out and we'll sh we'll put that separately and then you can screw it back into her uh, her little base right there. But uh, again, she is 45. I don't see any interest. We'll have to bring her back for the recap. She's epic. Such she a good piece of kitsch. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, think about it, guys. That is a really cute one. And she's a blonde. She's a cute little lady. Um, I bet there's some brunettes out there, too. We're going to have to find one for Sarah. There are. They made them in brunettes as well, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to find one for Sarah. All right, so let's... No, it's D-E-V. D-E-V. Trying to get the light to not be an issue, but it's going to be an issue, but let's go ahead and show it. So my next find, um, these are from the private pick, um, and they are like an off-white pottery. They are German pottery. And they are both numbered. I have two and they're identical. So it's basically if you want two of these for like barware or for vases, you can have two or you can do one. Um, and they're starting at 30 each. These are made by, and I'm going to butcher this, Veb Haldensleben. Haldensleben. Um, and that is the German company that um, did all the ceramics um, once East and West Germany became separate like that. Um, and they were made by East Germany. So they were done by actually the state. So um, this German co company um, was funded by East German state. And so it, to get them in the States here was kind of hard, hard to get. Basically, if you were in the military, you could get them um, depending on where you were stationed. They are the nice off-white and then the detail we'll get in close so the detail on these come in from the actual pottery the red clay underneath so it's raised just enough to where um, when they shellac it the red pottery shows through to give you that figural 
look to it. Um, they're considered uh, goblets or a chalice, but you could definitely use them as a vase. Um, and these are very collectible. It's about half their value. Um, wow. And they make more of these as well in uh, newer and older ones in different styles. This is more of like the mod style that they did. Um, they did some colorful ones as well. And um, they're just beautiful. So done by Veb Haldensleben, um, East Germany. All right. And so let me show you what I did with this one. So just putting in some fun little uh, succulents in there makes it a nice, nice uh, display piece. These are fantastic. Really they cool. Really are. They really are. And it's they just don't really show very well with the light because of the white. But you can see how fig figural they are. They can be considered... Um, you know, like your majesty type of thing. Um, Danish, uh, there were some Danish pieces made like this as well. Yes. Uh, so just a really nice German pottery piece. And the thing is, is a lot of times we find the West German stuff, but rarely can you get some of the East German pieces. That is such a cool piece. And are they pretty much identical, David? They are, right? Yeah. Yes, they're identical. Um, and they're considered a ch chalice or a um, goblet, so yeah. not a vase, but they're used in displays as vases all the time um, in your German displays. But yeah, it's nice to have that um, figural type of pottery, but in more of a mod design. And even on the back, you just have the little, little hair tied up in the back. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. No damage at all. And they measure right at five and a half inches in height. So if you do collect German pottery or if you collect stuff that's more modern, this is a really nice way to slip in some uh, vintage German pieces. Heck so yeah. $30 for choice. Those are and really cool. Thank you. I'm not seeing any interest. So I will go ahead and put them away for now. Um, I'll show you the bottom. Yeah. Um, so they both have the same number. Um, and it's really hard for it to pop in just because of that extreme glaze, but I think it's 6303. Mm -hmm. That looks like, like um, 69, maybe. Yeah. Possibly. I think this one might be. No, this one is actually harder to see. These are so groovy. Very yeah, this is about half of what they go for. So, again, yeah. for, we never try to start anything at you know, what it's actually selling for. We try to bring you guys deals and yeah. as much as we can. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, once again, German pottery, we will bring them back for the recap. Thank you guys. Okay. okay let's see. Where should we go now? Hmm. Oh, it let's is actually time for a giveaway, I think. Oh gosh. Okay. So it? yes, let's do a giveaway for 80s trivia. This is going to be for $5 Coleman cash. And you can use your Coleman cash tonight, or you can save it for another sale. You Once you win it, you have 30 days to use it. So that's going to be good uh, through April 30th. Okay. April 30th is the Coleman cash you're playing for tonight. All right. Here's your question straight out of the 80s. This is a good one. All right. What city was the setting for Three's Company? <laughs> city hint it's in california i'm pretty sure i know but i might be wrong so. i didn't know this i'll be honest i did not know this i see sand no 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 close no i literally had no idea this is no I don't see it yet. No. no. What city was the setting for Three's Company? There it is. There it is. Bridget got it. It is Santa Monica, California. You got five bucks in Coleman Cash, Bridget. Congratulations. Let me write you down. Yeah, I did not know that. Awesome. Yeah. I know. I didn't know it either. So, and apparently a lot of you guys didn't either. I, that was a new one to me. Yeah, same hot place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn? Yep. Yes. All right. So I have some cute little pink milk glass mugs and I'm going to sell them as a pair and they're coming with the hankies they have. 
And I am starting these at $18 for the pair. Oh, hold and on I, a second. Yeah. I think Vegas is in the lag. Yep, Vegas is in the lag. And I know exactly what Matthew's bidding on. He is bidding on your German thingies. Okay, okay. you know what? Let's go back real quick. Let me just... Uh, yes, you and it 30 on David's German pieces. Do just a quick countdown. And then um, Vegas, if you can hear this, let us know if you want one or both. I think there was in, so he'll definitely see it. Just yeah. In case. Okay. Okay. So um, I will start a countdown. We are at 30, and this is for choice 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Thank you, Matthew. Those aren't focusing for whatever reason. Yeah, there you go. I've got oh. to adjust my light from now that the sun's gone down. <laughs> It's okay, guys. Um, make sure that you're in top chat, all messages. Yes. Also, if you are caught in the lag, just make sure your little push bar on the on the stream is all the way to the right. Yes. All right. Vegas, okay. them both. I got you for both. Congrats, Vegas. These are going to look great with your stuff. Matthew's got really good taste. He, that was a great get, Matthew. Yes. Okay. All right. So $18, and these are going to come together. All right. And this is pink milk glass. It is made by Jeanette. The pattern is shell pink and it is absolutely gorgeous. No chips or cracks on these. And I thought they were so cute again with little hankies in them. So this one has a blue and pink little hanky in it. And the other one, and again, I just kind of cram these down in here with my fingers until they look cute. So there's that one. And then this one has this little hanky and it is adorable. And look at the little, uh, I think those are morning glories. Aren't they sweet? Yeah. And just love tucking the little hankies in and they display so sweetly. Um, these are very pretty little Jeanette glass. Um, they are pink. I know it's kind of reading like a whitish, but they are baby pink. Let me pull up my white. Oh, my light is blowing it out so bad. They are truly like like pink. Yeah, they are. I know my ring light's blowing them out again, but um, they are such a pretty design too. Really like these. And then like they even have that swirl and kind of a star flower on the bottom. Um, they're darling little pink cups. Great for spring. Um, good for demi tasks, good for espresso. They're really sweet, but I just think they display really nicely together. And that is going to be um, $18 for both of them plus the hankies. So that's not for choice. That's for the whole shebang. Okay. Kathy, I saw 18. Thank you so much. If anyone else would like to get in on these, they are darling. Again, Jeanette glass, pink milk glass. So pretty for spring. Nice. Thick little handles too. Just yeah. so pretty. And these are coming together with the hankies inside. Just a fun way. Um, yes, they're Jeanette. Made by Jeanette Glass. Hi, Tammy Renee. How you doing? Good to see you. Thank you for being here. So let's start a countdown. We're at 19. And this is going to be for both of the little mugs and the hankies that come in them. Okay. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Looking for a bit and I think they have a great mod style to them too. You know yeah. what I mean? They um the, the pattern is really cool with that chevron and then almost like a tulip bud style in the middle. Agreed. Thank you. Kathy's at 20, and there's the bid in. Kathy, these are coming to you for 20. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Congrats, Kathy. All right. So my next items, um, I like them together. So I'm choosing them together just because I think they it, it makes them look so much better. So first off, let's start with the glass. Um, so it was interesting to find out this fairy lamp is made by Homco. It is a nice, clear satin finish. Reminds me of like um, Northwood type of quality. Yes. But it's made by Homco. And it is the Pagoda Fairy Lamp. So we've got the top. You set it on there. And then we've got the different characters all the way around. 
And then um, there's no markings on the bottom, but it's made by Homco, early Homco. Um, and it is a, it's a beaut. It's a really nice one, no chips or any issues. So I'm gonna first show that with, uh, with just some regular old flickering light. It's probably not gonna show up very well, um, but there you go. And then we've got a pretty bright in here, but um, a really nice piece if you have like an Asian theme or if you just have like a folk art type of thing going on or a collection of fairy lamps. This one is great for different color changing type of lights as well. Um, so I have the flickering amber in there. I've got a color changer one here and that'll kind of show you how, how neat that looks. Especially, well, of course, without the light, I, would, I, I will turn it off in just a second to show you, but a really nice, nice piece. Great for outdoors too, if you have like an outdoor patio with a really cool theme going on. Um, and it measures right at five inches in height. So that's your first choice. Second choice, a really beautiful brass swan. And this is a planter. So you can definitely put a plant in there. Um, a nice smooth bottom and the etching, all the work on the brass is very nicely done and very shiny. So he's from the early 60s. I do not know a maker on this. I do not believe it's made in India. Um, most likely Korea, don't know for sure, um, but nice solid quality on the swan. That's really and good detail, yeah. It is, so they had nice detail, and then the planter area is just a nice small size. So if you want to just do faux plants for the seasons, you can do that, and it looks really good. What I like about the swan is, you know, when you put it next to the pagoda, it just kind of, it just belongs, you know? It just I love of the pagoda with the changing light in it. I think it's so pretty. And any glass, you know what I mean? You put one of those little color changing lights in it and it's just really a nice glow to the room. Yep. That's kind of like the vibe you would want. You know, you've got your lady coming in, sitting down. You're going to get her a, a nice cocktail and uh, yeah, get her to sit next to the swan and talk about how, how beautiful he is. Yeah. yeah. So the swan <laughs> measures right at six inches in height. <laughs> what? I said that's a really weird date. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You want to take a look at my. You want to talk uh, about how beautiful your swan is to the lady? Come on, it's shiny, shiny swan. Look at that neck. Oh my god! Um, so let's go ahead and start a countdown. You know, you you got to do what you got to do. So, right. um, Susan Arvin is in at twenty-one. We have a uh, choice here, and they just—I think they're great together. So, 15, 14, 13, Put some more light in there. Eleven. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. You want to pet my swan, baby? That's weird, David. <laughs> I mean, he's just so, so. <laughs> I mean, I guess the answer would be no, because they bite. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> oh, you know, put God. it by the koi pond. I think it's awesome. Oh, it's so Thank you all for your bids. Susan Arvuvu, you are the winning bidder. Let me know if you want the fairy lamp or the swan, but I will tell you they look good together. Yes, they can be real mean. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I, I got the giggles over that. I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> I don't know. I just started using words and they came out the way they did. Hey, so it's where... Easter. You set that romantic scene with your pagoda lamp and that swan. Hot damn. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, right. Susan. Congratulations, Susan. And then, and then it'll be Terza. So let me know. Okay, I got you for the fairy lamp, Susan. Thank you. And then Terza, ah, it didn't break. I promise. That was actually the dog. The, it's good. It's good. It's good. But it's good. we still have my swan. So, all right, no worries, Terza. So I will bring our swan planter back for the recap. Thank Listen, you. Guys. Nobody wanted to touch your swan, Coleman. Nobody wanted to touch my swan. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I got the giggles on that. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, okay. I've got something kind of out of the norm that's fun. So I got into a little treasure trove from my private pick of some fun bags. And when I say bags, I mean like hand handbags. So the first one is really interesting. It's got um, and I'm starting these at something. What am I starting these at? 20 for choice. 20 for choice. 
And let's see here. So this first one is a vintage series, 1990, age 12 years, signature collection by Rocky Patel. And those little scratches right there are in the lacquer that is on the label. They're not actually, hold on. I think I just got them out. Yeah, they did. Sorry. So those little scratches right there are not like actual scratches. They're just uh, smudges in gotcha. lacquer. See how I just did that with my finger? Okay. So we open this up. And it's got groovy little latches for the cigar box. And then you have a little place for your finger. And it's got a little mirror inside, kind of like Enid Collins. And it says on the inside the same thing, age 12 years, signature collection by Rocky Patel. And I put, and it's really nice and clean on the inside. I put a little vintage hanky in there for you. And this vintage hanky has a little B and it also has this really pretty, what looks like almost like a ranuncula type of flower. Just lovely. So the cigar box purse is coming with its own little vintage hanky inside. And I love the latches on it. They're really nice. And when you put them and close them, this little bag is just darling. It's really cute. It's nicely made. The other side says Churchill 7 by 48, handmade in Honduras. And it legit was a cigar box at one time. So these little cigar box purses are so fun. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, Susan Armuvu. Um, so uh, I like the little handle on it because you do have these iridescent little beads that make up the handle. They almost kind of look like carnival glass to me. Yeah. And it's just a sweet purse. I can tell you when I was in high school in the 90s, I carried a little box purse and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So that is going to be choice number one, the little cigar box purse. Yeah. Ah, there went my black light. Don't worry. It sounds so bad, but it's just the crap that we have around just to be yeah. ready we're a nightmare tonight. It's all good. It's a holiday. It's fine. It's the ham. I'm blaming the ham. I blame the weird ass hot dog ham that we had earlier. Okay. So um, yeah, I knocked my black light on the ground, but luckily I don't need it tonight. So we're cool. Um, okay. Second choice in our choices is this little booger. And I got to learn all about um, what Lemurid, Lou, no, I'm sorry. Lumerid, Lumerid is the style of beading on this. And apparently this is made by a very uh, prestigious bag company called Corday Bead. And um, it is the rosette pattern. It is a little clutch. And what's great is the um, opening just stays closed. It has a hinged opening that pops open and it's super clean inside. Really, really pretty. And this bead style was started um, <clears throat> from the 40s and carried over to the 70s. And they were looking for a beaded bag that the beads would not come unsewn, like little seed beads. So what they did is they made this Lemurid pattern. And as you can see, these are actually little synthetic bead drops and they are over and then there's clear patches of them over the little design flowers. So it's precious, really cool, great shape, no issues, um, and it's a clutch. So era wise, this was made and this particular design was made anywhere between the 40s and the 70s. And I know that's kind of vague, but really they did all different kinds. Like if you look up this pattern, there's like all different kinds of Lamorid bags. So um, that was the material that they used. I kind of went down the rabbit hole reading about it. It was pretty interesting history, actually, uh, because they wanted a beaded material that would not come basically unsewn. And these are not sewn in. If you look really close, they are like into the mesh. Wow. They're they're basically like attached to the mesh. It's manufactured that way. Happy Easter, Amy and Chuck. Great to see yeah. you. Love ya. So that's going to be choice number two. Really cool. And these go for a lot more than 20. I'll tell you that. Um, and then number three, choice number three is probably my favorite. And these vinyl clear bags in the 60s were an entire trend. 
And this one has little umbrellas on it, which I thought was so cute going into April, right? April showers. Yeah. And it has a great little clasp closure. It's nice and clean on the inside. And this entire thing is vinyl, right? And it's got this groovy little, what looks kind of like a Bakelite style yeah. um, handle. It's, it's some kind of plastic. Um, but it's not super hard like Bakelite. So I really, I'm not sure what the material is on the handle, but I think this is the cutest bag and it does have some little glittery spots. You've got butterflies and rain coming down on your little umbrellas. It is darling. Right. So handle to the bottom is a 15 and a half inch drop total. So from the handle up here to the bottom down here, and these vinyl purses were very trendy in the 60s there's all different kinds of designs but usually when you find them they're kind of grody and this one actually has um it has a few little things that have gotten caught from the glitter in the bottom right here but you i mean they're not really anything that's a deal breaker per se so how wide across um how wide across good question let's see here it is 13 at the widest yeah 13 inches at the widest across that could be catalan or lucite could be phil yes so these are all your choices okay you've got our vinyl little umbrella bag we have our groovy little cigar box purse or we have this lumered uh vintage made material that is apparently famous now i had no idea about lumered uh, fabric. And now I do. So I went down that rabbit hole and this has two little pockets on the inside. It's a great little clutch, big enough for your cell phone for sure. Okay. So I am going to start a countdown friends. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four. This one comes with a hanky. Two, one. Looking for the bid end on my vinyl purse. <laughs> so cool. These are so fun and very collectible, right? Really cute. Cute, cute. I love the cigar box one. I know. Do you remember when you and I were first together and I had that cigar box purse years ago? Yes, I do. You bought me one. I just uh -huh. remember that. I bought when you one at the Arts Fest or something. Yeah, when we were first dating, I had a really cute one, and it was like beaded, I think. Okay, I see all of your bids. Thank you, fam. Gail Lewis at 24 took the high bid. So we're going to call this one Cigar Box. We're calling this one Vinyl. And we'll just, you can say beaded, okay? So beaded, vinyl, or Cigar Box. Perfect. Fun little bags for spring. And yeah. a, little bit, a little out of my wheelhouse, but at the same time, I love vintage accessories, so I'm here for it. Well, yeah, especially when you can find it in such good condition. Exactly. So, Gail, your first choice. Then Vicki Leach Payne, congrats, you are second. And then Amy Spotty Mushroom is third. Hi, Becky. Welcome in, honey. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Hey. All right. So, Gail and then Vicki. Okay, Gail's taking vinyl. Good choice, Gail. That's a fun one. And then Vicki Leach Payne, let me know if you want the little beaded Lamorid or the cigar. And then behind Vicki is going to be Spotty and then Laza. Spotty and Laza. Fantastic. Muppets and Manilow, I love your name, by the way. That is a hysterical <laughs> username. Super cute. Um, okay, so Vicky said pass. That's okay, Vicky. No worries. No worries. So Spotty and then Laza. Yeah. And I think that's everybody. So you I guys just let me know. No worries. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see here. I'm in the wrong spot. You're in the wrong spot. All right. So I have some fun little wooden characters, creatures that I still have, and I am going to go ahead and show them now. So let's see. Oh, that's cool, Gail. Well, good so, to know, Gail. I'll start picking some up when I find them, too. Yeah. yeah. So I have some uh, creatures, and we're going to go ahead and show them to you individually. So if you are at our last sale last Sunday night, I think, um, we sold some of these. And these are made in um, Japan in the 60s. 
They're made by Senshukai, um, and they're called Royal Pets, made by made out of Japanese cedar and plastics, as well as some other little beaded, beaded pieces to make these animals. Very collectible, and they were only available uh, with mail order back in the day. Um, also at some gift shops, most likely at the airport. So first off, we have the penguin. I love the fact that he has two-tone wood. So he has the Japanese, um, the Japanese cedar here, but then right here would be like a light color wood. Looks like maybe teak. Um, and then you've got the beaded eyes and then plastic wings or whatever you call, yeah, wings. I just, I love Paris. Um, but so that's the penguin. So we've got our penguin. <laughs> uh, second up, we have a parrot. And now on the parrot, he has some wood staining. I don't know um, if it got wet at one point or what. So he does come as is. If you wanted to touch him up, you can. But I couldn't pass on him because he has that really nice shiny wood for his beak. And then he has beaded eyes to look up at at his uh, prey. And He's then you cute. have it in the feet. So He's yeah, it's cute. Yeah, just he has a little birthmark up there. Aww. So that's your second choice. Third choice, we have the sea lion. I think he's the coolest guy. He's got huge, his huge flipper feet down there. And then his face is just like dirt. I'm a dirt face. Dirt, dirt, oh my God, dirt. I love him. He, um, yeah. <laughs> he's different, isn't he? So, yeah. so then we've got, that is the sea lion. All right, we have a couple more to go. And we have the bear which I love the bear and his head will turn the bear. Turn head bear. And they're all marked on their tummies, you know, what kind of animal they're supposed to be. So you don't get it wrong. Um, great for a little miniature shelf. Um, these guys measure between four and five inches. Hey, Patty, how you doing? Um, so that is the next choice. Um, here we go. We had this one in the last sale. He didn't sell. So I'm bringing him back. He's the pelican. He's got the turning head as well. So cool. I love the pelican. Yeah. yeah. I think he's one of like, my favorites. Yeah, and the Muppets. Oh my God. Totally, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got the plastic feet for this guy. All right. And last but not least, we have this fella. I thought he was a giraffe. He is not. Luckily, they labeled him. He is a deer. <gasps> no, really? I yeah. didn't know this one was a deer. Oh my God. It is a deer. Yeah. He's a little deer. These are so mid century cool. I can't take okay. it. They really are. And this is about half their value that I started them at um, because oh, we do them yeah. a lot. But yeah, so cute. His legs are bent under, David. Look how sweet he is. He's just laying there. He's hanging out. I it's like Bambi. The yeah. pelican's cute. I know. Right? I all right. So those are all, all of them that I have. And this this is it. We kept this two. This is a very good price on these because these typically go... Um, for much more than $25 each because they are true mid-century Japanese figurines and they're so nicely made. They're so mod. They are. They're so, yeah, mod is a good way to put it. Just have, they're timeless, really. He and thinks that the wood used is now actually a protected species. That's cool. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So so Japanese, cedar. Them, David? Japanese cedar. Japanese cedar. And these are senshukai. Senshukai, made in Japan in the uh, 60s. Let me try to put some white behind it just so that it'll pop a little bit more. Oh, they're fun. There they are. Aren't they awesome? So yeah. we kept two. Do you guys want to know which ones we kept? Yeah, tell them which ones we kept. Sure you do. Okay, so the ones we kept... We had to keep a squirrel because we had a pet squirrel in our backyard when we first moved here that our dogs just absolutely loved. And we kept a dachshund for potatoes. So we have the doxy and the squirrel. And we'll they're never after anywhere this, else. After Come this. On. There we go. It's trying to focus. <laughs> Steps above. Of course. No, David. Of course. Uh, all right. So, Victoria, I see you in at 26. Thank you for your bid. <laughs> We're going to count down. There's six choices here. So if you want to get in on a choice, jump in now. We're at 26, looking for 27. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end.
I know, I Miss Little One. I do too. I out of this bunch, though, now that I know the deer is a deer, I'm kind of like kicking myself we didn't keep that one too. But uh, no, I I love I like them all. They're I do they're too. so sweet. The bear is precious because his little head swivels too. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. Any of them that have swiveling heads, you can adjust them for however you want to display them. So Kim Kimri Ann, congrats! You have the highest bid. Um, we're just going to do as an animal, their animal name. So we have deer, bear, penguin, sea lion. Yeah, sea lion. Okay. Um, parrot or pelican. Okay, bear and deer. So we got the bear and the deer. Good choice. Congrats, yeah. Yeah. And then Victoria was the first person at 26. Okay, congrats, Victoria. So you can go pelican, penguin, sea lion, or parrot. Uh, and then Susan R. Vuvu has a uh, second choice at 26 after Victoria. Perfect. And I think that's everybody. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys. So I'll just watch the comments. Once again, pelican, parrot, sea lion, and penguin. So Victoria first, then Susan. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Good choice, Victoria. That All is right, a cute Victoria one. Victoria got you for the penguin. And then, so yeah, sea lion, parrot, or pelican, and that's for Susan Arvuvu. You know, Miss Susan Arvuvu in Florida, I feel I'm feeling pelican, sea lion vibes for you. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, Good kind of those. Japanese yeah. sea lion is awesome, and it's the right? smoothest turned wood you've ever felt. This it's one, very time. smooth turned wood, all handcraft. Okay, pelican. Congrats, Susan. Got you for the pelican. These two. Misfits are going to come back for the recap. Thank you, guys. I really like the sea lion, but he looks Great. a naughty to me. He's Did interesting. You, him, him looks a little naughty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. This is my next Thanks. item, and I absolutely adore this. Again, this came from my friend's booth here locally, and um, she cleaned everything out. So cute. Yeah, sea lion all over the yeah. That's right, Kimberly. Oh, they'll come back together. You'll see. Um, I'm starting this out at 30. Okay. And I'm going to get you in close because it's so cute. So the brand on this is Teen Mates. And Teen Mates made all kinds of vinyl luggage. This is called the Overnighter. And it's a little suitcase, as you can see. Um, it's about the size of a doll case. But this is so dang cute for display. It is 13 and a half inches by eight inches tall by five inches wide. So 13 by eight by five are our sizes. And it says up here, I'll miss you. And then it's got a little train traveler that says choo choo cha cha. Okay. And then down here, it says, don't be too long on the suitcase itself. It says, bye bye. And <laughs> then over here, it says, see you later. And where did it go? Up here, we've got be back soon. And then it says, you stupid poopy head. No, you stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, my eyes are so bad. That's what it looked like at first. You stupid. No, it says you stayed away too long. You uh -huh. stayed away too long. Isn't it cute? So then it's got a little zipper down here. Mm -hmm. And this would be like your overnighter bag. Um, this dates to the 60s, by the way, early 60s on this. The zipper is in awesome condition. And there's a couple little places of wear to the vinyl, like some, see a little scratch there. Uh, but honestly, for most of these vinyl pieces, they get nasty really fast. And this one has been put away in good condition. And then here's the inside. Look how nice and clean. I feel like it's not even really probably been used much it was more right. of a display piece than anything and i love the little varsity sweater and the scarf and then the little cheerleader pom-pom i just think it's precious and for some reason we've got a pipe in there i i don't know it was the <laughs> 60s and the teenagers they were smoking pipes on their overnighters i don't know yeah but uh <laughs> it is cute here's the handle the handle's in really nice shape um and again a couple little superficial places here and that would probably come out 
But never, ever, I will tell you a story, never, ever, ever take a magic eraser to vinyl. It will completely uh, scuzz up the patina and make it look cloudy. And it won't be shiny anymore. It'll just look weird and dull and faded. So keep a magic eraser away from these. I um, gave this a quick Windex earlier, and it really shined it up well. Um, but again, you've got a few little areas of wear to the patina, but it displays so great. And there's the bottom. It's got little uh, metal feet on it. So we are at 30 with a net. It's a cute little piece. I like it. Take it to grandma's. Put your jammies in it. Yeah. Put your jammies in it. Great for a kiddo. But it would also make a nice little doll case, too, for dolly clothes or um, accessories, whatever you got. So right. Kathy is in at 31. And I see Annette in at 30. Thank you guys so much for your bids. I'm going to start a countdown. We are at 31 looking for 32. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid end. And Annette is such a great toy collector. Um, and so is Kathy. Kathy has a wonderful kitchen collection. Mm -hmm. Jamie Crafton snuck in there. Hey, girl. I didn't even know you were here, Jamie. It's so good to see you. Happy Easter, honey. Yes. Um, Annette's back at 37. Jamie's at 38. Good size for pet supplies when they go oh. on. That's a great pet. That. I'm all about using baby blankets for pets, too. I just love them. Uh -huh. Vintage baby blankets are so cute. Okay, there is the bid end. Thank you, Lisa. So Jamie Grafton, this is coming to you for 38. Congratulations. And thank you, lovelies, for your bid. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. So I have a set of brass taper holders. I'm selling them all together. I don't know if they originally sold as a set, but because I've seen them online being sold separately, as well as like in a pair. So but I'm selling them as a three fur because they have the perfect stair step in their sizes. They measure 11 and three fourths, 10 and a quarter and nine inches. Um, they are a nice shiny brass. Um, these are made in India and um, I don't have a for sure date on these. They're fairly mm -hmm. mod, I would say either seventies, early eighties. Um, and I'll just show you very like kind of almost paper thin, but it is very nicely constructed with um, the design of the sun on here, right down uh, about halfway through the taper. And then you've got that really mod style base. Nice. And it fits just a standard taper. So I, mean, I didn't get any loose sites to show you. Oh, my loose sites are up here, sweetie. I'm sorry. I have so I just wanted to show that it does hold the taper nice and strong. So like I just put stuck one in there and it's, yeah. it's in there. Any so, standard. Yeah, any standard one. You're fine, oh, no worries. Good to Easter. see you. Susan. Good to see you all. Happy Easter. So um, the set, I'll show them all together. I just think they're phenomenal. Love the solar power going on here. And then oh, those are so cool. Aren't those yeah. excellent? Yeah, I love the chain going on as well and how high they all go. So this one's 11 and 3 fourths. So that's kind of the, you get an idea of size. Nice. But, yeah, really cool um, mod look. Yeah, it would look great with teal. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh. So oh, thank you, Susan Lee. I see you're 32. Um, and once again, so you can see how the suns are a little bit different in size. And, yeah, they look great together. So I was like, I can't part them. No. Um, to have all three sizes that are supposed to stare step together absolutely well, and they're so pretty i love anything celestial you know what i mean i love yeah. moons i love suns i love stars that motif mm -hmm. is beautiful to me and it really looks good with bright colors but i think they would look pretty cool too with just some clear lucites yes yeah. I, I do too yes susan arvuvu it's just a nice um shiny polished brass um and it's a, like a thinner so it's not like extremely heavy um, and then you've got, so you've got like the, I'll show you the backside. So you've got the candle holder and then this pops off if you wanted to unscrew it. And then you can put just a regular um, candle on top of there. Um, oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even yeah. think about that. So if yeah. you don't have candles, you can take the little tops off and put just uh, votives. 
Yeah, just put a votive on there if you wanted to and just stick it on there. Um, but, yeah, and then the sun is um, stuck on or welded on there. So they're all really solid, but they will come apart if you wanted to. David so, polished them up. They had they had a definite um, aged patina and yes. they signed up so good. <laughs> yeah, Ninja Star. Ninja Star. Yeah, throw it. Um, <laughs> so Susan Lee's in. Let's go ahead and count down. These are all coming together. Um, a very nice mod look for your glass collection or folk art, for sure. Oh, sure. Looks amazing with pottery. I'm just going to set this up here as we count down. This is going to be coming soon um, in a little bit here. But doesn't it look good with, like, your earth tones pottery? All right. So if you want to get in, we're at 32. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Fit in. Yes. Imagine them with the moons. I agree, Pee Wee. Or even if you found some little tapers that had like applied moons or something on them. I bet if oh, you could yeah. moon tapers, you could probably find them. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, Spidey snuck in there. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I love you, Stephanie. <laughs> Us, yeah. Well, I'll drop some stuff. You never know. So congrats, Red Spotty. These are all coming to you for 33. Thank you. Congrats, Amy. Those are rad. Yay. I'm, I'm glad you guys liked them. Good, good, good. All right. I am going to do um, some really interesting uh, ephemera choice. Okay. So um, these are going to start at $14 for choice. And the first one is... After Dark, it is an April 1972 special music issue. And this is Grace Slick from Jefferson Airplane on the cover. Just the cover alone, I think, is absolutely fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. Super cool. And what After Dark was, um, was a performing arts publication. So it covered everything from, like, social issues, entertainment, um, and it was kind of before its time too. It had um, it covered like LGBTQ plus issues, but I have to show you the ads in this are hysterical. So we've got like crocheted men's underpanties in here, like all kinds of fantastic um, time capsules, and then really epic black and white photos as well. Um, so much goodness in here. But let me show you. So the classified section, what a hoot on that. I'll let you, uh, whoever gets this can read that on their own. Um, and After Dark was, like I said, really focused on a lot of Broadway productions, music. Um, it's so neat to look through it. We've got ads from La Brioche and Mildred Pierce and um, Le Bouffe. Um, Le Bouffe. I'll have to find some of these. Because earlier I was like dying. Look, this is an ad for the Gladiator, and it's a man's skirt, and you um you let your your undies show through. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, and <laughs> then we've got Eric Bernard's trim away. Leave your home for ninety minutes and return two inches thinner. We have these ponchoed. Okay, can we just talk about dudes poncho? Coordinate your casual wear for balmy days with a cotton brocade tapestry shirt. I'm telling you, this is so fun to look through. The ads alone are epic. Um, we've got all kinds of ancient zodiac symbols and modern cross, um, Britain and back, release of the glass harp. Um Again, this is from 72, which is actually like the, the year that my folks got married. And then we've got a few naughties. All right. Ooh. This is for the new book from After Dark, a collection of favorite photographs from the editors. Some are sexy, some are silly. <laughs> <laughs> some are silly. Some are silly. Um, and then we've got Ken Duncan nudes, an ad for that. Uh, the ads are what got me. Your face tells it all. Oily skin, normal skin, dry skin. Um, Lucia Romo. Um, 
things happen when you wear eleganza. Okay. Ooh. Things happen. Look at the collar. What is going on with that droopy collar? I cannot even. So anyway, <laughs> this entire thing, and you even have, you know, the actual uh, things you would fill out to get your subscription. Apparently this magazine went out of business in 1983. It was no longer um, relevant or what have you, but my personal take on that, it was probably too racy for right. the time. Um, you've got, look at Bette Midler. So cool. You've got Renata Tabaldi. That's who this is. My God. Yeah. So anyway, it's a lot of stars, a lot of performers of the time, great articles about uh, Broadway musicals. Uh, this is, who are these guys? The New Seekers? I don't even know. So this is great. And then the Grace Slick article is epic. So this is the After Dark from April of 72. It's your first choice. I know I spent some time on it, but there were some, seriously, I didn't even show you all the hilarious and awesome ads in it. It's just amazing. Okay. Second choice, total strange departure from After Dark, but just stay with me. Um, this is actually a 1995 set of Myrna Loy paper dolls. Okay. So it gives you a brief synopsis of who Myrna Loy is and was. She lived in Montana on a ranch and then she went to Hollywood. Um, her father died during the flu epidemic and she moved to California to pro basically procure her career at the time. Uh, she modeled for Valentino. She was in some movies, co-starring William Powell. Um, she had quite a nice career. Now, her uh, paper doll section is epic. All of the clothing is there. This has never been used. I will be very honest with you. I did not know who Myrna Loy was until I, I saw this. But look at the outfits. So cool. Look at the fur. Oh, my God. I just love these. Anyway, so you have the entire book of her outfits. And then here is Miss Myrna Loy on the back. And these are uh, paper dolls that cut out. So these are both cutouts and all of the outfits will fit them. So great Myrna Loy paper doll set celebration of great movie queens by Marilyn Henry. All right. But this was actually made in 95. Still vintage, but just uh, made in 95. All right. Then my third choice is this fantastic June 1967 McCall's. It's got a beautiful Disney ad on the back that is in great shape. Uh, it's the Clorox Snow White Sweepstakes. You've got all your little dwarves on there. Um, and the fashion and everything from 1967 in this is just wonderful. We're selling cameras. We've got a dop kit. I know. Isn't that great? And um, all kinds of different ads for things. Things that I have sold before, too. I saw a couple of different things in here. that I was like, oh, my God, I recognize that. Um, different soaps. Gina Tay. Who had Gina Tay? That reminds me so much of my grandma. She had Gina Tay. Gina Tay. Yes. You have to see the movie from this year. It's called The Women. Best movie. You'd love it, Sarah. Okay. I love stuff like that, Phil. I will check it out. Definitely will check it out. So great illustrations, pictures, graphics, ads, um, fashions. McCall's is, of course, known for all of that. We've got a short story called Requiem for a Bachelor. Oh. Um, Summer of a Dormouse. That's another short story. Uh, happy anniversary to Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Got a whole spread for them. Wishing them a happy Annie. Um, we've got Hellman's Manners. Yeah. That's more ads. The Bride Makes Cookies for Tea. Petite Four Cookies. A wonderful recipe. That sounds really good. I wear dentures and smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Awesome. All what right. Fantastic. <laughs> um, never answer for the intimate, embarrassing problems married women face. Tiny germicidal norforms protects you more effectively than. Hey, Susan. 
another word that I don't want to say during my life because it might get me in trouble. Okay. Um, Coleman. Here's a Coleman ad. You know, Coleman is sunshine of the night. Mm. So, uh, really cool. <laughs> You're my sunshine of the night, honey. Um, <laughs> SDS feminine spray, Kleenex, cake ads, Dennis the Menace. Um, oh, here we go. Look at this. Mighty Moose. We're talking about aspic salads earlier. Yeah. This made with that hot dog ham, David. We could blend that up and oh, moose it. Hey, do we have some olives? I could get real crafty, David. Oh, so geez. I haven't even gotten to any of the fashion stuff or the design, but also the home design and the home decor um, that are featured, I find very inspiring and timeless. I don't know about you guys, but um, of course, vintage decor is probably all of our thing, right? So anyway, this McCall's is from 1967. We've even got some cartoons, um, the swingers. Oh, heavens. Too funny. They're advertising cashmere bouquet talcum powder, by the way, the swingers. Um, powder your nose, L'Oreal color. Anyway, I could go on and on. These are so much fun. So this is McCall's from June of 67. This is Myrna Loy paper dolls. Or we have our groovy After Dark with Gray Slick on it from 72. So um, Betsy McCall on the last page, right? Yes. Yes. And cold power laundry detergent apparently is um, semi-perturbing to this woman. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. I just love all the old stuff. I love it all. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm starting to count down. We are at 18. Thank you so much for all your bids and sticking with me. I just love going through all this stuff with you guys. Yeah. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. And these are in nice shape, all of them. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Victoria. I see you in 18. Vegas Viking glasses at 23. We've got Myrna and McCall's. Love that little Disney ad on the back. So fun. I, yes, yes. Clorox sweepstakes. Plus $5,000 cash and a new white charger by Dodge. That's quite the sweepstakes oh. now. Enter today. All right. There is my bid end. Matthew, darling, would you like the McCall's? Would you like Myrna or After Dark? Just let me know. And then, Victoria, you are going to have second choice. And then Thank Susan Stonestrom. How you doing? Susan. Thank you, guys, all for your bids. Awesome. And Vegas, great choice. So cool with Grace on the cover. And then, Victoria, would you like Myrna Lloyd, the paper dollies? They're all there with every single outfit imaginable. And two paper dollies on the back or McCall's. Okay. Just let me know. And then after Victoria was who, hun? Susan Stonestrom. Susan Stonestrom. Wonderful. All right. So I will. No worries, Victoria. It's a cool one, right? I know. I know. I wish I had more of those. Um, those I'm definitely going to start looking for After Darks, too, because this is the first one I have found, and I thought I found it fascinating. So <clears throat> Susan said I'm good. Okay. No worries. I will bring the other two back for the recap. Thanks, gang. Awesome. So I have, uh, I showed you this pottery piece a little bit ago, um, and okay. this is going to be part of the choice. Um, and I've been saying Reku, apologies, it's actually Raku, Raku, um, but it's Raku pottery, and it is signed. We have had this in our collection for a wee bit and have enjoyed it, um, but it's time to pass it on. So um, it measures right at seven and a half inches in size, and it has its fat lava style with the iridescence so you've got that real nice sheen at the bottom and then as you come up you've got that really cool design and then up to the darks almost like um looks like looks like lava when you get to up to the top mm -hmm. and um the rim is in nice condition nice big opening for that so you could definitely um put a plant in there i've got a couple of little things just to show you so you can, you know, stick your fakies in there and it looks really nice. But it also looks excellent just by itself. I mean, it just has a really cool 
shape to it. So that's this your first is, um, our personal collection. We yes. actually had two of these at one point. We yes. sold one and then we kept one. And then I actually replaced that with a different piece for my collection. Uh, so it is my I gotta let something go. Yeah, the decanter that I showed you, the pink one. Yeah. Oh, okay, Susan. Gotcha. Okay. So um that is your first choice. Isn't it pretty? I just love the iridescence that's in there. Um, and once again, signed. Second choice, this is an awesome piece if you're a shop owner or um, depending on your displays. So we've got this anti, or, I'm sorry, not antique, vintage um, bronze uh, monkey. And he is basically, he's like um, a butler or a card holder. Cute. So he, he stands up with his tail and you can put your cards in here for, you know, take your card type of thing. Or if you have like a display, you want to set something up there. I love the fact that his tail holds him up. And he is a very pricey guy online. If you look look him up online, um, he is not antique. I've seen some marked antique. They're not antique. No. Um, they have that antique patina is, is um, what's really nice on there. I'll show you the line work up here. You've got, and you can use it for a soap holder as well, just depending on, depending on what you're wanting to do to display. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Michelle, girl, we it, you and I together, Michelle, it'd just be trouble. It would be so much fun. <laughs> His snail, yes. Um, yes. So it is interesting, but I will say it, he does stand nicely. Um, but I thought he looked cool with some nice. He <laughs> has some cool vibes. I don't want to make him fall. There we go. That's beautiful. Can, I really like the Raku with, um, am I saying it right? I thought I was. Yeah, Raku. The Raku, Raku. with um, succulents in it. That's such a nice way to display it. It really is. And once again, this monkey guy, that's a really good price on him. Um, and like I said, you can put a put a soap bar on there if you have like a monkey bathroom. Oh, that's um, cool. But I would definitely, you know, if you have like little calling cards or something you want to display, it's a great way to display them. Any kind of jungle theme with the little monkey guy, he could hold soap. He could hold, um, yeah, he could hold a lot of different things. A lot right. of things. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, let me show you the signature. I can make it out. It's more of like initials with stuff in between. So I'm I guessing. It's, it's like a J. J and something. Yeah. It's yeah. Such a cool piece, though. It is. All right, so let's go ahead and count them down. I'm going to hold them so we don't have any droppage. Colleen, I see you in at 27. Thank you. In Vegas, I see you're 20, uh, 29. And here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good end. You're great, Pee Wee. No worries, sweetie. I'm so glad you're here. And Pee Wee, I was so proud of you. You were rocking your sale today. Congratulations. Excellent. All right. So Bridget and Colleen, I see both of your bids. Thank you. I and understand, Amy. Vegas. I understand a lot too. <laughs> I know. The, the, the monkey. So once again, we have a tail. That is his tail. I love you, Michelle. You're killing me. <laughs> All right. There's our opinion. So Matthew, biggest Viking, let me know if you want the pottery or if you want the monkey. And then Colleen will be right after that. And Bridget may get a chance as well. Awesome. Thank All you, right. guys. So thank you, Colleen, Bridget, and then Victoria, if we get okay. to you. Okay. So, Vegas, I got you for our, our monkey. You can also stand him on his head if you wanted to get real crazy and then balance something there. <laughs> That's There you go. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Fun. Colleen, congrats. You got exactly what you wanted, too. That's a so, beautiful thank you guys Colleen. so much. Yeah, I love that piece, Colleen. Yeah, we had that in our hutch for quite a while. Um, yeah. And I need to put, what kind of lighting do you guys, totally off topic, but I need some kind of like inner lighting for my mid-century hutch to like light pieces up on the inside. Like one of those tap lights, but like little, I don't know if right. I should do LED lighting. What do you guys think? If any of you guys light up your stuff, um, holla at me and let me know what you use because yeah. I really want to put some kind of lighting in my new hutch. I love it. Okay. All righty. We are going to do, what are we doing? What are we doing, Sarah? <laughs> um, do, do, do. Oh, you know what? First, what we're going to do? 
a five dollar Coleman cash giveaway that I forgot oh, okay. to do earlier. This is our last one of the night. And for our Coleman cash this evening, um, I have a question for you. First person to get it right is going to um going to win. All right. Look and win it. big. Right now, bear with me. Okay. Um, here's a good one from the 80s. In what movie does a high school slacker break the fourth wall to give us expert advice on playing hooky? The fourth wall. In what movie does a high school slacker break the fourth wall to give us expert advice on playing hooky? <laughs> there it is, Peppermint Patty. Congrats. You got yeah. it. Very fast. Quick on the draw, Peppermint Patty. Five bucks. Favorite. Heck yeah. Peppermint Patty. Five bucks. Congratulations, love. You have 30 days to use your Coleman cash. You can use it tonight or you can use it um, up until April 30th. Yes. Hellraiser 3. Pee Wee, you're killing me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I have some figurine choice and it's going to start at $10. Um, a couple things are in as-is condition, but you know I can't leave a cute friend behind. All right. So these are $10 for choice. Everything is kitschy and fun. First up, do you recognize this guy? Literally, I sold this same guy, I think, like a week or two ago. Uh -huh. I found another one. This was for my private pick. This one, though, has more crazing than the last one I sold. So I'm going to get you in close so you can see the crazing on this guy. And he is uh, really cute. This is 1950s and Nesco. And it is a spoon holder, uh, which is great. You would put the spoon, you know, here. And on this side, and he could be a uh, little wall hanging. You could put a little nail in, put him on the wall, or he will just sit flat like this and sits up just great. I had him back there with the pink canisters. I thought he looked so cute next to him. So for Easter, Humpty Dumpty came back to say howdy. And I looked, I fell off the wall and got a little crazy in my glazing. Oh my goodness. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's really cute, though. Um, otherwise, other than the crazing, it's just heavy crazing from age. He doesn't have any issues. So $10 for this guy. First, uh, he is our first up in choice. Okay. Second choice is this little squirrel friend. And him's real cute. Um, he is in good shape. He's lost a little paint on his nut. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah. that happens. And yeah, I don't he know dropped it. That is on his face. Hold on. Hold. 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 Oh, Schmidt's come off. I'm getting it off of my finger now. I'm sorry. So this is sticker residue and some dirt. Okay. But it does come off. Um, his little eye paint is pretty good, honestly. He displays really cute and he has a real rabbit fur tail. Um, he is marked on the bottom, Japan. So he's, he's older, you know, early fifties on this guy, real cute. And he's about three and a half inches tall, really, really sweet. And look at his whiskers. Sometimes when you find these guys, the whiskers are toast. He actually does have his whiskers and you can bend them any kind of way you want them to go. That's just how I found him. Okay. So that's going to be choice number two. Then I have choice number three which is this little deer. And look, it's a little mouse sitting up, I think on like a chimney or something. It. I don't know what that is, but we have a little sweet brown tree in the back. This is Darling, made in Japan type of little dime store figurine. Super sweet. And I love to collect these. This also would fit in a miniature shelf. It's like two and a half by three. So you could fit that in a printer tray or any other kind of miniature shelf. Real cute. All right. So that's choice number three. Little deer and mouse. Choice number four is last but not least. He's Dumbo. And this is a Disney figurine. Super duper cute. Made in Japan. Marked Walt Disney Productions on the bottom. And he is great. That is cold paint on his little eyes, mouth, and collar, and it is in excellent shape. Such a cute little figurine. If you are a Disney vintage person or a collector, look at Dumbo's little ears. Hims could fly. He could fly. He could fly. Precious movie. That's right. He's protecting his nuts from the goose. Girlfriend was. 
So those are your choices. Okay, I'll go through them again. We've got our Inesco Eggy Weggy friend. We have our little squirrel with the nut and the uh, rabbit fur tail. We have the little deer and the mouse figurine. And we have, last but not least, Dumbo. Dumbo. All right. so I am going to start a countdown. We are at 11 with Victoria and Les. I saw your bid at 10. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to start a countdown, friends. Here we go. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I'll get that off of his face. Don't worry. 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Looking for a bit end. Hi, homeschool Lou. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. All right. We've got less in there and peppermint patty and homeschool Lou. And Lou, I don't think we've worked together before. So make sure to send me your info in email if you would. And you are the winner, Lou. Congratulations. So, Lou, let me know in the comments if you want Humpty, if you want uh, Deer and Mouse, if you want Baby Dumbo, or if you want our little Squirrel Buddy. Okay? Nice. Let me know. And then um, it is going to Les for second choice and then Susan Lee. All right. And, yes, this is what I need from you, Lou, if you would, if you could just uh, send me to ttbsaracy at gmail.com your real name, your YouTube name, and your PayPal email. If you don't have PayPal, do not worry. No big deal, Lou. You've got Dumbo. What a cutie. Congrats. It's coming to you. And um, yeah, that's all I need from you, hon. And if you don't have a PayPal, just any email address will work and you can check out as a guest. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Gad, for being such a cheerleader. That's yeah, right. You guys you. can throw a thumbs up on this video. Les, you got it, baby. Spoon rest for you. Thank you so much. Susan Lee. And then Susan Lee, let me know if you want deer and mouse or if you want little squirrel biscuit, friend. And again, that is like tag schmutz on this little guy's face. It, I just need to get it off. I missed that while I was we'll cleaning it up earlier, so I apologize. We'll get it. Welcome and then to Susan Lee in here. Okay, and then it's so Peppermint Lee. Patty and then Victoria. Perfect. Okay. So Congrats. Susan Lee wants the deer. You've got it, Susan Lee. And then we have our little squirrel buddy that is left. So you guys just let me know. And yes. Be thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because when we do live shop with me, it says our subscriber only sales. And you definitely do not want to miss those. They are no, so don't. <laughs> so Peppermint Patty, let me know if you want squirrel buddy. And if you don't, that is okay. And then Victoria Emery. Yeah. Victoria Emery for the little squirrel guy. And I think that is everybody. So Patty and then Victoria and I will com uh, uh, communicate with you guys in the comments. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Easter. All right. Happy Easter. A oh, squirrel. Can Absolutely. We... Yeah. Absolutely, Patty. You sure can. No, yes. you're fine. You can use your Coleman cash, babe. That is all yours. Yes. Well, on any purchase. You got it. And you won five bucks last week. So we will apply. In fact, I'm right, making myself a note. One ten total for peppermint. Okay. And the squirrel is yours, sweetie. Thank you. You got it, babe. All right. So I'm bringing something more modern. This is not vintage. It's early 2000s. It is discontinued. And... Um, a very collectible piece. It will be very collectible in the future. Um, it's made by Anthropology. It's the Woodland Owl Planter and a very mod. I'm just going to show you his face. It has that Swedish design type of look to it. Um, so they did some throwbacks. They have the textured pottery. Um, isn't it so cool? And it is a planter. So the planter is in the back. Um, it is marked still on the bottom. We have the original sticker as well as Anthropology. There it comes right there. And so you have the pottery with the glaze and then you have raw pottery for the texture in the feathers as well as the face. So I, he's just, he's a stunner. Um, he measures right at seven and a half inches tall. Um, so that's your first piece. Yeah. It's still almost 20 years old. I know, Phil. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's throw some greenery in him. 
and he, you can definitely give him another look too. But I think if you were to throw in a little, uh, some little fairy lights in there, just little string lights, it would like kind of light up behind him. Would definitely give you a cool vibe. So that's your first choice. Second choice is actually from my collection. I've had it here in the office for about two, two and a half years. Um, but we found our Capricorn and Virgo plaques to match. So they went where this used to be. Yes, um, this is from our personal collection and it's yeah. gorgeous. Look at that. It is a beaut. Um, it is in great condition. Um, I love the style of it. It has kind of a 3D effect with the pressed wood um, of early 70s. And uh, it's made by Veracron. It's the barometer. And I'll give you close in on this. The fonts are really cool, kind of um, gothic almost. And then I love the the crescent moon for the tip, the back tip of the arrow. Um, it has its original sticker on the back, Veracron, and the model number. And it's an easy hang. You just hang it right there up on the wall. It's eight by eight in size. And it's a very unique style. Um, I like the style. And I'm going to show you what I was thinking when I had these together. I just thought with the mod look of this guy right here, he needs something with some brass. And yeah. I thought these two were excellent together. If you kind of like have that mid mod and then the mod together. Yes. Kind of brings out the white in the actual barometer. Um, the barometer is exactly eight by eight in size. So nice and square. And then of course the owl is seven and a half inches tall. So those are the choices. Oh, yeah, we are live. We are Friends very live. In the 80s were 20 years ago. I get that so much because when I think of, you know, just a few years ago, I'm like, yeah, the 90s, you know, when I was in high school. <laughs> right? Right? Like, I know. Uh, man. So um, these are the choices. Um, if you are interested, 26. Once again, this is from our personal collection. And, yeah, this owl from Anthropology is discontinued, and it will definitely be valuable in the future. And it already is. When I was looking online, um, they're roughly between 35 to 40. Mm -hmm. Vintage anthropology, you guys, is going to be what we're selling right. in another 10 years, I guarantee you. Because okay. anthropology puts out some really fun, interesting uh, pottery pieces. They have ceramics. Like, you would never think yeah. about anthropology having all that, but they do. They right? do. Pieces, yeah. Yep. All right. I'm not seeing any um, bids, so we will bring these back for the recap. Oh, Victoria's in. I spoke too soon. So let's go ahead and do a countdown. There we Thank go. you, Victoria. I figured you'd get it in there. So if anybody else wants to get in, you can. This is for the barometer or owl. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It ends. I really wanted to put googly eyes on them, but I didn't. <laughs> and you know, if you feel so inclined when you get that anthropology owl home, you can Google him up. Just Google him. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. Okay, Victoria, congrats. Let me know if you want the barometer or if you would like the owl. And I will just watch the comments. Thank you. Congratulations, Victoria. It's so cool. So good. I love that. I, that owl is epic. Both. Yeah. I don't believe yeah. you. They look really good together. So thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I have some figurines and I am starting these at $10. Um, again, a couple have some as is issues, but we'll talk about it. Okay. And these are all ladies. So starting these, hun, $10 for choice. And here are four to choose from. Okay, so um, the first one is a really unique one that I actually had never found before. And when you first look at her, what do you think she is? Joseph Originals, right? Yeah. That was what I thought, but she's not. She's actually made by Arnart. And I'm going to show you her little dress. And for those of you that are kitsch nerds like myself, um, you will notice she's got the little applied flower with some little gold fanned out stuff around it. Another applied flower with that same design. Look at her fancy gloves and look at that little face. Ooh, wee! What's up with that? What's up with that? 
she cute? Um, and then she's got her little hat on with the applied flowers as well. Comes down, um, her hair comes down her neck. And she does have her original tag made by Arnart of Japan. And then she is signed Chage de la Fête. Okay. So okay. I'll tell you just a little fun fact about David and I. We love Frasier. We are Frasier nerds. We have watched Frasier at bedtime for 20 <laughs> years. I'm not kidding. Uh -huh. so we always put Frasier on. And I remember him talking about in an episode, or maybe it was Cheers, when Robin Colcord took over Rebecca and he was dating a Chage de Fer. Well, I didn't know what any of that meant. So I started looking stuff up. And apparently it was from a French book years and years and years ago. And it translates to look for the woman, Chagé de la Femme, look for the woman. But nuanced in French, it really means the woman is the problem. So it's kind of a sexist thing. But at the same time, I kind of like dated stuff like that, especially as like a little mini feminist. I think stuff like that's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. And so she is the little Chage de Femme. I'm the problem, boys. <laughs> <laughs> so she is my first choice, Arnart. No issues with her. Really cute. And she does go for about 30 and up. And I'm just starting her at 10. All right. Second choice is a Inesco prayer lady. She is more traditional. Kind of reminds you of the pioneer woman. And she's got this little crown. And it says queen for a day, mother queen for every day. And I thought this was cool because somebody needs this for their mom for Mother's Day. Now, for sure. look at her neck. Do you see it? Do you mm -hmm. see it? Do you see it? I saw an Instagram yeah. post today and somebody was talking about how they always get their vintage home and then there's an issue with it. And I'm like, you know what? I Nine times out of 10, that, that has happened to me for years and years and years. However, this was on a private pick a while back. And I knew I was getting some as-is pieces. So she has had a neck repair. I was aware of it when I got her. However, I think she's real cute. And that is her original Inesco uh, Made in Japan little foil tag. And again, find her home for Mother's Day. She's cute, right? Yeah, she's been beheaded, Michelle. It happened. She's queen. Off with her head. Off with her head. Okay. Next little girl is really sweet. And the only reason I'm calling her as is, is look at her bottom. Don't you think this was a lid for something at some point? She sits great. Nothing's wrong with her. She doesn't have any chips or cracks. But I feel like she was maybe a lid to something at one point. And I looked and I looked and I looked for her. Couldn't find her. But I thought she was sweet. Little prayer girl. And look at her dress with this netting. That netting is not fabric. That is actually ceramic. Ceramic netting. And to find that that's not broken with the little applied flowers not broken. I just thought she was sweet. Yeah. And then she's got this cool little um, spaghetti glaze flower thing going on at the back. And she has a halo. But no wings. So she's not an angel. She, I think is a praying little saint but i thought she was sweet she needs a home and she definitely dates to the 50s look at those eyes doesn't she also kind of remind you of joseph's i looked and i looked and i looked for her praying for a trinket dish that's right bug um i looked for her brand i could not find it anywhere um and i could not find even her top so i don't know what brand she is i can tell you she's made in japan and she looks to be 50s so um, really cute with the halo. Again, this is going to be choice number three. And then last but not least, choice number four is actually Joseph Originals. And she is the little Holland girl, sweet little Dutch girl. And she's had a little paint loss on her uh, hat, but she does have her original Joseph Originals tag that says Holland. And on the inside, let's see what it says. Um, a tulip, a windmill, my small wooden shoes. To guess where I come from, you'll need no more clues. And um, she dates to the 60s. She does have her original Joseph Originals uh, foil tag. And she is marked Japan on the bottom with the um, imprinted Joseph markings. So cool. she is your last choice, our little Dutch girl. And she cute? Yeah. Just, I love right. her hat. 
Yeah, I do too. So these are the choices. We're at 11 with Victoria. I see some other bids in there at 10. If anybody else wants to get in on these, we're looking for 12 or more. And let's find them homes. Here we go. Homeless little ladies. 15, <laughs> 14, 13, 12. Chargé de la femme. 11, right. 10. Oui, oui. 10, <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, looking for a bid end. Thank you guys so much for all of the bids. This one is as is shape. She lost her head, but got glued. Not by me. Lee <laughs> is in at 14. Thank you so much. And for claiming, we'll do um, Arnart, Joseph, prayers, and uh, mom. Okay. So that is how we'll claim. Smalls got in there at 16. Congrats. Hi, Trippy. Happy Easter, honey. Happy Easter, Smalls. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Okay, so Sweet Smalls, you are first choice. Then Susan Lee. Then Victoria Emery. And then Peppermint Patty and Phil Imp. Okay. Peppermint Patty is way up there at 10. Yeah. yeah. All and right. All prayers. Okay. Prayers coming to you, Smalls. Congrats. She's so cute. Susan Lee, do you want our little Joseph Dutch girl? Do you want our Arnart uh, little woman that is a problem? Woman is the problem. Or do you want Mama? Let me know. Okay. All right. And then after that will be Victoria Emery and then her, where was it? Peppermint Patty and then... And then it was Phil. Phil. Yeah. So Susan Lee wants blue girl and Dutch girl. Okay. Blue girl and Dutch girl to Susan Lee. You've got it, sweetie. Thank you. And then Victoria Emery, do you want mother queen for every day? And if Victoria oh. passes, then we are going to. Peppermint. Peppermint Patty. And Phil had already passed because she wanted Prayer Girl. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for your bids. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. No worries, guys. Thank you. Okay. We'll bring her back for recap. Thank you, guys. Sounds good. All right. So I have a few pieces here. They don't go together, but yeah, whatever. So first off, we have this really cool weather house. It is um, all wood and hand handmade, all put together. We've got like gravel art in here, as well as I mean, you can see the woodwork is just really nicely done. We have the color, the colorful blue tones down here, um, and it is a working piece. So you just pull this guy up, and you get the lady to come out or the guy to come out. Um, but you, what you want to do is kind of set it right in the center, and then they'll move around. Um, so this piece right here has the wall hanging on the back. I don't have a maker for sure. I do believe it's German. I just don't know how old. Um, he is definitely older, you know, but not, I don't know the exact age, but we've got the little spot. You can even put a little guy up here if you wanted to. Um, so that's your first piece and it measures right at seven by 10 and really nice colors. Great for an entryway. Um, it has a nice kitsch value to it. Um, and then the, the roof is like a tomato red. Fine. That's your first choice. Second choice, this guy, he he has got to find a home, especially if he can find an alien cupie. He's been looking all over for him. Oh. Alien cupies. He oh. is um, a hobbyist. So we've got on his feet the writing. Um, so it's Mama Goertz, um, I'm guessing is what it says. Mama then, Goertz. Yeah, and then 1971. So this little guy is a hobbyist and was done really nicely. Look at his eyes. You can see um, he's not cross-eyed. He has all of the details still there. And he's got his shiny suit. So, Victoria, I see you in at 18. Thank you. He does stand up nicely. He's not too wobbly for a hobbyist. Yeah. So if you have like the Spaceman, um, the Galaxy bottle, syrup bottles, it would be great with that. But also, I just I keep thinking about the alien cupies. He would be perfect next to one of those bigger ones. Oh, my God. He would be perfect with the alien cupies from Greta's. Yes. 
So I'm going to go ahead and start a countdown. Victoria and Kelly and Gail, I see you all in. Um, and this is for choice. Yeah, that little yeah. house is precious. I love it. So um, we're going to go ahead and count down. Here we go. 15, a <laughs> nice 14, 13, 12. Oh, that's a good idea, KB. Yeah. Um, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. So cute. I'm space, space boy. boy. I know. I love him. If I had more room in my space display, I would have kept him because the um, the painting on him is so good. Yeah, it really is. He's so and cute. They had squeakers and different toys in the '60s that looked like him. So yeah. these molds were done after that as hobbyists. So yeah. pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Victoria's in at thirty, and there's our bid in. So Victoria and then Gail. Um, Victoria, let me know if you want Space Boy or if you want Weather House. And then Gail, I believe, would be next. Small oh, tier so 30 came in right after the bid. It's zero and then 30. Oh, darn. I know you meant 30. I'm sorry. Hopefully, let's see what Victoria picks. And we'll go from there. Call me okay. Blue Eye. Space Boy oh, for Victoria. Yeah. Congratulations. Awesome. Okay, Smalls, I will all honor your bid at the end if it comes to you and this is the item you wanted, honey. Gail, let me know if you were interested in this at 27. And then Kelly Abbott would be next. All right, no worries. I think everybody was going for Space Boy. You're good. That's okay. No worries at all. All right, so did anybody want the little house? Just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we will bring it back for the recap. Yes, Kelly Abbott, just let us know for sure uh, if you wanted the little weather house. Okay. All righty, moving right along. I have a couple of planters for choice. No worries, no worries. Um, and these are really cute. Both of them are mid-century and sweet. Um, and I'm starting these at $15 for choice. No worries, Kelly. I figured you were going for Space Boy. No worries. Okay. So $15 for choice. First up in my choice is this little guy. And have you ever seen a panda bear that got into the honey? Well, apparently pandas don't just like bamboo. They go for honey too. So uh -huh. This little guy is actually made by Lane Manufacturing, Lane and Co. from 1952. Um, and they were made in USA. And you can see we've got 1952 right here. And then Lane and Co. from LA, California. So this is a California pottery piece. And it is a little planter. And look at this big blue bow on the back. Not a chipper crack on this. Super shiny and cute. And you can stick some greenery if you like back here. Or it would be a great little pen holder too. Well, pens might get lost in there actually. I don't know. It's kind of deep. Um, but you could do wh wherever you need a little catch-all. This is a super sweet piece. He usually goes for 30 and up because he is kind of on the rare side as far as being a panda bear. So super duper sweet. Size wise, he's a little bit larger than most planters too. He is right at eight and a half inches tall and he is six inches wide. So pretty good sized panda with his honey. I love his honey. He's a little paw in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So cute, right? So um, Lane & Co, 1952 Panda in the Honey Planter is first choice at 15. Second choice for 15 is this little guy. And this is all aboard the Kitsch train. And you can see we have like, I don't know if this is a little bear or maybe like a little monkey. He's just so cute. But look at the petals on the wheels of the flowers. Absolutely darling. And you've got the little design that goes all the way around the back. And then this is the other side with like a little uh, curtains on the stagecoach or what have you. Um, and I think these pastel guys are just darling. Now, this is made by a company called Ceramics Del Norte. And it is marked on the bottom, Ceramics Del Norte. And basically what Ceramics Del Norte is 
um, is Mexican Napco. So um, the same molds that Napco were used for a lot of their different planners, you'll find that they had a division that was in Mexico that was selling these same items. And if you had a baby or if you were hospitalized, flowers would come in these little planters. So um, really kitschy and cute. I have, you can see, you can, you can see I got a little plant in there. There are no chips or cracks at all on this piece. And it's just as kitschy as they come. I love the pastels. Um, super cute for spring. As well. And these are your two choices at 15. So we have our Lane & Co. 1952 mid-century panda bear that's gotten in the honey and wearing a big old blue bow on his backside. Or this cute little um, kitschy train and I love that Napco did have all of the different molds that actually went to some different makers. Because that explains a lot when we're talking about kitsch ceramics um, from the 50s and 60s. So many molds, so many makers. Um, so it's hard to keep it all straight, right? Smalls, it's so great to see you. I'm so glad you came and spent a little bit of your Easter with us. Thank you. Have a good night, sweetie. So Karen, I see you in at 15. Thank you so much, girly. And this will be for choice between the 1952 and these were typically made in the 60s. So, and again, ceramics called yeah. Norte, which is the Mexican version of Napco, same molds. So I'm going to start. Yep. Great baby shower gifts, but also fun if you're a kitsch person. Absolutely. Rolled up with baby socks, onesies and other gifts. That's such a good idea, Becky. That's really thoughtful. I would love that, especially if you have a, know a vintage person that's expecting. Right. <clears throat> All right. And for the rest of us, we just love our kitsch, right? So I am going to start a countdown. Ms. Karen is in at 15. Thank you so much, Karen, for your bid. And uh, let's count them down. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Hi, Kathy. Welcome in, hun. Good to see you. Happy Easter. Easter. All Bucky's right. probably crashed out with a sugar coma. Oh, yeah. Bucky's passed out on my desk here. He's He's been in the eggs and been in the jelly beans. He's had a big day. Big day. All right. There's our bid in. Karen Chase and Vintage, would you like the night? Oh, you want them both? Well, you are so sweet, Karen. Thank you so much, honey. Congrats, they are to you. Thank you. Awesome. All right. So my last, uh, this is my last item. And it, I saved the barware item for last. So um, let's go ahead and show you. I have choice. So first up is this complete set. At least I think it's somewhat complete. So I'll show you on the inside. It has the what's yours little tags that you can put on your drinks at the bar. Um, so I'm going to open it up without knocking them all out. So I'll show you all the all the spaces here. So we've got all these different tags, different colors. Um, we have bourbon and water. And then so each one, let's say we have the pink that says bourbon and water. It'll have a one, a three, a two, a four. So that way multiple people can have um, the different ones, but numbered. You know, great for, um, the you know, pandemic times and all that. We have scotch and Scotch and rock on rocks. Sorry, it's not focusing for me. This is really making me want to have a drink. I'm just saying. Well, I was about to say, we're going to have to do that afterwards. So, mm -hmm. Scotch on rocks. We also have orange, Scotch and soda. Scotch, scotch and soda. Yeah. Scotch and water, bourbon and soda, uh, bourbon on rocks. You get what I'm saying. Aren't they dusty? They're really cool. And you can keep them in this container which is great, um, but I would display the container and take these guys out and put them like in something in your bar area, kind of like that monkey that had the card holder. You can put them all on the top, that type of thing. Yeah. So that's your first choice. And I'll just show you how they sit on a glass. So let's say you have um, your Apollo glass. <laughs> clip it on there and you can drink and it won't come off. So you know that is your scotch that's on so the box. Cool. Number two. Scotch on rocks. Number two, not number one. Not number one, sorry. They're all color-coded. Yeah, there's so like there's pink, there's green, there's orange and yellow. 
Yeah, Naughty Monkey. Yes, correct. <laughs> all right, so that's your first choice, um, and it all comes together. I want to get them all back where they were supposed to be. So it all comes together. I think there's probably at least 25 little tags in there. Um, or I've got this peekaboo elf. Um, he is rubber, made in Hong Kong. He's actually red. Let's fix my light. So um, he is a drink hanger or dangler, and he'll s sit up on your glass. So you just hang him up there, and bam, he's on your glass. He's so cute. But he's great for a bar display, any kind of display, in my opinion. So those are the choices. Basically, an elf trying to dive into your drink or just the names so you can um, definitely know which drink is yours. Yeah, great for a tiki bar, um, especially if you have multiple people over. Um, is the number how you keep track? So, <laughs> yeah, that, there's something really good. You can be like, okay, here's your third bourbon. That's it. <laughs> That's uh, right. You could definitely do that, but they have it from one to four, I believe, just you know, so you know which one's which. But yeah. I like your idea better, personally. <laughs> so, Vegas, I see you in at 15. We're going to start a countdown. Um, Elf Hanger, he's rubber, or what's yours? Drinks. Here we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Bid end. Those are so cool. Okay. And just for those of you that are familiar with these pixies, the last pixie I sold that looked like that was like this tall. This one is bigger. He's like, he's about three inches. Like he's a little bigger. Yeah, you're right. Exactly three inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. He's a bigger fella. All right, waiting for that bid. And thank you so much, Matthew, for your bid. Here's your bid from our Lisa. Congrats. Just let me know if you want uh, the tags or if you want the Elfie. Okay, got you for the bar tags. Thank you so much. Congrats, Vegas. Those are great. Congrats. Love those. All right. Um, David, question. Was yes. that was that your last item, babe? Yes. Okay, so this is my last item. I just want to make sure that we had the same amount of items this time because sometimes we hose that up. Okay. Yes, <laughs> me. This is going to be for choice, and they are um, vintage jewelry pieces, and I found some interesting stuff that I've not sold before, so I always love that. All right, I'm starting these at $10 for choice, and this first one has my heart. Look at this. He is a little celluloid plastic piggy with an ice cream cone. And he's got a little top hat on. Look at his little pigtail butt. I can't believe and you're selling him. I know. I know. But, David, I have so much. And I feel like someone needs him for their collection because I will never get around to wearing him and doing him justice. So someone needs this precious piggy with the ice cream cone. Or it could be a Slurpee. Or it could be a hot dog, you know, or it could be that oh. weird, that weird ham we ate earlier. I don't know. <laughs> they it came from me. It was cellular and ham. 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 All right. So this little piggy is actually almost three inches tall. He's good size. And he's kind of hollow, um, like carved out, like a relief, as you can see. He's got just a basic little pin back on him. And uh, a lot of these celluloid pins date to the 40s and 50s. So really cute little dude. And he's choice one. Okay. Could be a mushroom peewee. Yeah. Okay. You know what? It makes me want to put little white spots on it. But I don't like to, I don't like to touch up vintage. All right. Um, second is going to be this little enamel bird. And I thought he was really pretty for spring. And he's kind of almost like a bronzy copper type of metal really pretty and then you've got the enamel painting of uh the kind of like a seafoam green and then a um like a limey Lime, yeah. puce puce green <laughs> but um this the pin on this little guy is right there and he is definitely an old one, came from an estate sale, super cool. So um, that is going to be choice number two. Choice mm -hmm. number three is also an estate sale find, really groovy. And this is a real silver, this is real silver, um, little kitty. 
and he is carved out. He has a patina. And I'll tell you the way I know he's real silver. He shined up really good. And this uh, patina that's on him will come off. I just didn't get to shine him all up. So this little guy's made in Thailand. And it has um, the pin on the back and then had a little sticker. So made in Thailand, little silver kitty. And it's a really, really thin piece of cut silver. So he shines up just great. And that's choice number three, little silver kitty. And last but not least, choice four is pretty darn groovy. These are earrings and they are um, screw backs. And they really are mid-century fabulous. They look like, um, I don't know, something from outer space to me. But they have this yummy, funky, weird plastic, um, I don't, it's like a starburst almost, right? I, yeah. With little pink pearls in the middle. And then you can see the screw backs there. So if you wanted to go convert these to pierced ears, it would be super easy because you have that big metal piece on the back. You would just clip the screws off if you want to make them into pierced earrings. Find yourself some posts and do them up. Yeah. Good night, Bug. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, those are tribbles. I wonder what that means. What is a tribble? I don't know. Never I don't know. But don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> they do look very <laughs> physical. Yes. Yeah. Indeed, Laza. I agree. Um, okay. So Kelly's in at 15. I see Phil is in at 10. I'm going to start a countdown. Again, we've got our little silver kitty, which is real silver and polishes up really nice. Look at his little whiskers. Isn't he cute? <laughs> His face yeah. almost reminds me of the Tanala cat. Yeah, you know, he, he's winters. very Tanala style, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Tribble are from the original Star Trek. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Okay, so Tribble earrings, okay. choice. Kitty, choice. Excellent. Celluloid piggy with mystery snack, choice. Love it. I think, I feel like it's maybe an icy, I don't know, That's or a awesome. Slurpee from 7 He's been to 7 <laughs> Eleven. Or this beautiful bird pin. Love this bird. And this one's about an inch and a half, FYI. Okay. So I'm starting countdown. Here we go, friends. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Looking for the bid in on our triple earrings. I just learned something. See, I swear to you, I learned something every sale from you guys. So uh, cool. Same. So cool. Yes. <clears throat> Love it. Reproduce like rabbits and became best. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen Lord. Happy Easter, hon. Good to see you in the in the chat ski. Yes. Yay. There's Thank you guys so much for being here with us on Easter. It means a lot, really. It really does. All right, yeah. there is the bid in. Thank you, Lisa girl. All right, so Kelly Abbott, let me know if you want kitty, if you want birdie, if you want these funky, fantastic, tribble, starburst, mid-century earrings, or our crazy piggy. Okay, kitty for Kelly. You've got it. Thank you so much, Kelly. And then next up is Phil. So Phil, do you want funky piggy? Or bird, please, and send it to Mary. Oh, I love you and Mary both. That's wonderful. That's so wonderful. sweet. So good. All right. So that leaves celluloid piggy and earrings. And I don't know if there were any more bids, David. Were there? That was, that was everybody. Okay, perfect. So these two are coming back for the recap in just a sec. And I'm going to write these down. And David... Tell them what they've won. No. <laughs> You've won the uh, ability to hang out and watch this recap. Recap? <laughs> Sorry. It's the recap? All right. It's, no, re recap. Damn it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, you know how it works, guys. So we have, um, first off, Beams 10 Pin. It's from 1968, and it is the canter. It's clean and usable, so it will seal up. Um, I was asking $12 on that. Just put in bowling or decanter 12 yeah 12 and then i also have this amazing well let's go over here first this really kitschy set um we have the shaker set made in japan um 30 and you get both of them um you can use them as figures just in different types of displays 
or actually use them as shakers in your bar. Um, they are really kitschy 1950s, early 1950s sailor guys. So just put in 30 sailors or shakers. And then we also had, oh, these guys, let's go ahead and do these guys. I had for 10, this little family of terriers, three total. Um, so we've got the mama terrier, we've got the playful baby, and then we have the sitting baby. So white and blues. Victoria, I see you for the bowling pin. Thank you. So if you are interested, $10 for the Terriers. Just put dogs, 10. Puppies, 10. And then puppies, 10. And then I had this weather house um, for $18. Really kitschy, great, easy to hang, very lightweight. Um, so you can grab that for $18. Just put in house, 18. Um, Victoria, I, I'm going to go ahead and write ah, write you down for the bowling pin right quick. Where are you? There it is. Okay, Victoria. And then I also had, oh, these guys right here. So I also had for 15, this elf drink hanger. He is rubber, so he's not going to break. Um, so 15, just put in elf or pixie. And he does have a hanger. He, you could hang him too. Oh yeah, you can also hang. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can hang him right here. It's where he's hanging. Uh, you can have him like as your little um, hiding pixie in the house. <laughs> and then we also have this parrot. Now the parrot has some staining on the wood up here, so I'll do him for um, twenty-four. And he has his eyes, nice shiny beak, um, and this is made by uh, Sen Shukai in Japan in the, in the 60s, very mod, and um, made by Jap out of Japanese cedar, which is, in fact, endangered, and I did not know that. So um, if you're interested, put 24 parrot. Um, and then what else do we have? Oh, we also had the... Um, the sea lion, which will spring him back real quick. I love him. I love him. I think he's cool. He's him cute. Here. What about me? So 24 for him. Otherwise, he's going to stay in my little collection here. Um, so the sea lion, he has the applied wood wood feet. And uh, last but not least, we also had this polished, nice, shiny swan. And um, he was 18. And he's a planter. So you can see he's a planter, nice and solid, shiny brass. And the sea lion just wants to give him a little kiss. Ah, oh, kisses. Yeah. And how much was the swan again? Swan was 18. Um, and these two pieces right here were 24 each. And then, yeah, the rest you saw. So there we go. That was, that was everything for me. And if you're watching on the replay, feel free to, um, you know, let us know if you want something. Okay, Susan Lee is going to take your swan at 18. Okay. And then Victoria and Matthew both want the seal. Do you guys want to do a quick countdown? Okay, we can go ahead and do that. Well, Susan sure. Lee, I got you for the swan. Let's count down from 10. And um, Victoria was first in. So here we go. 5, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Looking for 25. Otherwise, Victoria will take the seal because she was first up. Oh, my God. He made the sound. Vegas, I did. 27. I love it. <laughs> Congrats, Vegas. We got you for the seal. He's, he's an interesting character. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. I love him. All right, babe. What's that? Your that everything? That was okay. everything. Thank you guys so much. Sweet tater pie. All right. So this was my first item. And you know how it goes sometimes. The first item just doesn't sell because not everybody's in the sale mood yet. This right. is a really groovy DeForest of California anthropomorphic fish uh, tray. It's 11 inches in diameter. It has a hanger ready to go for the wall. And it is also signed on the back, DeForest of California. Dates to the 1950s, asking $30. Just type in fish 30 and I'll know what you meant. Okay. I had um, mother and she is an Inesco girl. She's as is. I'll do her for five bucks if anybody wants to claim mother. Just because she's an as is shape, this is the second time I've shown her, and I want her to go find a home. Well, and we've seen one of these ladies uh, last time we went to um, 
brass armadillo. And it was like, yeah. wasn't 30, it like it was five? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is actually a harder to find piece in the so it's worth it. So if anybody wants mother queen for a day, mother queen for it. Okay. He has had a neck repair. Five bucks. Just type in mom five. Got you. Got you, Victoria. Yay, mom found a home. Mom, right. down. And then I had the Myrna Loy paper dolls. And I had these at 14. So Myrna Loy paper dolls. There's the dolls on the back. You punch them out. And all of her outfits are in here. So uh, this is from 1995 and it's all based on um, screen star Myrna Loy. And then there's a whole little synopsis about her in the cover. All right, Karen Chase, I've got you down for the paper dolls, sweetie. Thank you so much. Fills in for Myrna. Okay. People 15 and 14. All right, let's do a quick countdown friends. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Bid in. They're in their little skivvies. Please put some clothes on us. <laughs> and they just punch out, FYI. The dollies on the back just punch out. Excellent. Okay, Victoria, I see you. Thank you so much. And Karen, okay. This is going to Karen for 18. Congrats. Thank you, ladies, so much. Yes. And then, oh, I had... My little atomizer girl. And I had her at 45, but these typically start at 60 and up. Very hard to find in pink and green. She's made by DEV. $45 on her. She once was an atomizer. This can move just slightly, but when you set her somewhere, it will not. Um, you can set it up straight. You can cock it to the side. And then the little atomizer is down in here. Now, it does not go up and down anymore. Um, which is good. You don't want to chip it. But um, this is 45 on the DEV atomizer. Just put uh, Flower Girl 45 and I'll know where you're coming from. And oh, I had my little um, cigar box purse. Where did it go? I will do this for 15 if anybody would like it. This is uh, aged 12 years. They are Honduran cigars by Rocky Patel from 1990. And it comes with a vintage hanky. So 15 if anybody is interested in um, the little purse. It does have a mirror in it. And it comes with a little vintage hanky that's got a flower and a bee on it. All right. So just put 15 purse. Yep, Cigar 15. I see you, Victoria. Thank you so much. I love that. And I think that's it. Pretty sure yeah. that's it. Yes. So let me write all that down really quick, honey. If you want to let everybody know what's up next. Yeah, I have no idea, but I will tell you. <laughs> um, it looks like we're going to be um, doing some invoicing tonight. So if you, and I will say the people that we needed to get their information from sent it. So thank you guys so much. Um, we will be invoicing later tonight. Um, you don't have to pay until tomorrow. Obviously we're just doing that because we're going to be heading out to Denver tomorrow morning. Um, our next sale is Wednesday night for sure at 7 PM Eastern where we don't know for sure yet. Most likely we're going to be doing a live shop along at super junk we just have to decide depending on how good tomorrow goes and what greta has going on for her day so um definitely make sure you're subscribed to the traveling button vintage here on youtube as well as traveling button on instagram that's where both of those places where you're going to find out where the next sale is going to be i forgot to recap these oh, 10 yeah. bucks for earrings or 10 bucks for celluloid piggy brooch um, and these are screw back earrings. You could always turn them into um, uh, pierced. Gosh, I can't use my words anymore. All right. So $10 earrings, $10 piggy brooch celluloid if anybody's interested. Uh, I forgot to recap those two, but I did them at the end. So 
No big deal. Thank you guys so much. Lisa, thank you so much for being an awesome bid ender. Well, and to the rest of my mods that were here, thank you so much for hanging with us on Easter. Um, it's been really nice just chatting with you guys. It was a fun sale. Um, I love the energy in our chat. If you have not joined our Facebook group, please do so. The link is in the description of this video. Go over to Facebook, answer the questions. We'll get you approved. And it's where we just all kind of keep up with each other during the week. Some weeks I'm extra active in there. Some weeks I'm just so busy, I forget. Um, okay, Victoria, I've got you down for both. You have got it for the piggy and the earrings. But definitely um, go check out our Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. And it, we keep it really light in there. Um, we talk about everything from grandkids to dogs to vintage. So um, it's just a fun place to keep keep up with each other. I know. I need to make some videos. I, um, I, I'm i terrible at it. So No, yeah. she's good at it. She's just not good about getting it done. But we're it's busy time. And, you know, it's just the way it is. But, okay. yeah, she, I'm pushing her. I keep on just elbowing her a little bit, like, get video. I know. <laughs> I know. I like to live in the moment. Video is <clears throat> for me. Yeah. But yes, well, I, we were photographers for so long, even when we went on vacations and stuff, I usually had the camera in my face. So it, it is one of those things we've learned to um, live life in the moment. So sometimes our phones do take a backside. But yeah. that's good, right? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I'm take Victoria down before I forget. I think I have, I'm pretty sure I have everybody down, but Les, I know you were asking about the elf. It's 15. Just, I don't think you were claiming it. I just wanted to clarify. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, happy Easter to everybody. I hope you guys have had a really nice weekend. We will see you Wednesday in some capacity and we might do a pop-up Thursday. I'm really not sure yet. I need to talk to Greta about what this week looks like for her and then we'll make our decision and go from there. But I'll keep you posted. You'll probably know by tomorrow evening for sure what we're doing on Wednesday. So remember, if you um, did, if you bought anything on Wednesday from the shop with me, it will be combined with all your purchases tonight. Okay, Perfect. David C. above and Les so, and Karen want the elf. Okay, so I'll just do a quick countdown from 10 lesses in. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Bid in. So going to less as of now. Thank you, Karen, for um, popping in there as well. Thank you, Karen. So less, it is going to be all yours. Thank you. Fantastic. You guys are so good to each other. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you to everybody that just came to hang out. You know, you don't ever have to buy a thing. We love right. everybody's energy here. And uh, it was just a good day. It was a really fun yeah. night. So guys, yeah. have a good one. Peace, love, and vintage. Mod Squad, thank you so much for your love. Yeah, and thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you again Wednesday night, <clears throat> 7 p.m. Eastern. All right. Thank you, guys. Happy Easter. Good night. Good night.